Hello and welcome back to the stream where today we're going to be playing Genshin Impact. Now last time we left off uh, with quite a lot of information actually. A lot of information, a lot more questions. Okay, so um, basically there's more primordial water, primordial sea, whatever you want to call it, whatever it is called, inside of the ocean because apparently... Uh, Fremine ingested it somehow. Uh, basically, Fremine was sent out of the area, which I assume is, like, right over here somewhere. Um. He was sent out of the area somehow. And apparently, Risley intended that because then he trapped him outside, which I don't like. Because he could have died, he still can die, because I believe Framine is from Fontaine. Though I guess we're gonna find that out this time. I really hope he's not from Fontaine, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how he's not already dead, considering he ingested it. Though maybe, like, the stomach and the immune system are, like, stronger when it comes to the primordial sea than the physical body? I don't know. I don't even know why the primordial sea is the way it is because apparently it was like the original sea of Tevat uh, that basically like created life. Now why is there like a rumor that Fontaine is gonna flood? Why does the primordial sea um melt people only from Fontaine. It doesn't make sense. And I'm so confused and I really hope Fremine doesn't die. I don't think he would because he is a playable character and I don't know if they would they would do that for playable characters. Maybe? They'd be like a ghost if you play as them, I guess. But I have so many questions because Chlorine decided to come over and uh, basically give Lynette back as well. I'm so confused. Lynette was taken by Sijuin and Risley for some reason. I think Risley said it was like... Um, I think Risley said he wanted to meet Arlecchino, and then Linnea said that that wasn't possible because it wasn't that urgent of a matter. I don't know why I'd consider Lynette being taken again. Forgot that happened the first time. And Fremine almost dying. It was a pretty urgent matter to your children. But I don't know. Alright, is Fremine dead? Please, please do not let Fremine die. Yes, but he's alive. <coughs> yeah. He's awake. Fremine, how do you feel? Why was there my more primordial seam? <sighs> Lenny. Lynette. That's adorable. Um. See, as a personal theory, I don't think they're actually like blood related. I think uh, our Lachino might have done something with Fremine as well, like how he saved Lynette. Um, she saved Lynette. So they might be siblings that way? I don't know, they still consider each other siblings, which is absolutely adorable! But I feel like the primordial seam could have something to do with Arlecchino. Um, because I think Arlecchino's originally from Fontaine. Did it say that last time? I don't know. But it could have something to do with Arlecchino, Child. Also, Child is gone, by the way. Still gone. And, um... What is it? Primordial Sea has to do with Arlecchino, Child. And Fontaine possibly being drowned. Because... In the trailer, it said that only Farina would be left to basically like cry upon her throne alone so that could imply that it would like rain primordial sea i don't know personal theory um 
And then, like, the people of Fontaine would melt, and then maybe the Archon is immune to it because the Archon is not human? I don't know what happened to the previous Archon, too, so we have to figure that out. We're all here. I'm so confused. I have so many questions. What's going on? Where am I? How is he not dead? Hurry. At the Fortress of Meripede, Mr. Fremenet, and you are no longer in any danger. How? How do you feel? Don't push yourself if you're not Okay, used so to it. he might not actually be oh. from Fontaine? Traveler. Paimon. It's been so long. <gasps> My baby's not. <gasps> The sea. There's something wrong with the seawater. The seawater itself? Like, did he go Shh, out it's okay. without scuba we can gear? Talk about it after you've recovered. I feel like no, he did, which is very right. dangerous. This is really serious. There's primordial seawater mixed into the regular How seawater. did you not die? I don't know why it's there, but no one should touch it. Are you not originally from Fontaine? What happened after you snuck into the pipes? Pipes? You were locked uh. out... Right, the pipes. Right, because he was going after child's now. traces. There's blue plants. Nothing out of the ordinary. I thought the pipes were flooded. What's happening? Are we going to get to play as Fremenet? As like a past thing? Or what's going on? I heard the teleport sound. <gasps> we might get to play as Fremenet! <sighs> Ooh! I mean I thought it was waterlogged, though. Seems like this pipe hasn't been used in a long time. No kidding. It looks abandoned. And Child somehow used it to escape? Did Arlecchino know that he would escape? Ooh. <sighs> Where could Master Child be? And I forget that they're part of the Fatui, so they still say Master Child. Because he is a harbinger. He's like one of the big bosses. Heck yeah! Now, I'm actually going to get... Uh, back to this event next week because normally I um well maybe because normally I would stream Genshin on Monday and Tuesday and a different game Thursday and Friday but I don't know if I'm gonna have that different game up yet because I do plan for that game to be Skyrim and I don't really know if I have any other plans for any other games but we'll figure that out. But it depends on if I actually stream Genshin throughout the week. If I can't get Skyrim to update or not. Or not update. Uh, basically work with OBS. It was the same with thing with Oblivion. But if I do happen to stream it next week. Then I would basically... Um, Probably take a picture of all of these. Um, because I don't think I would be able to do this one. I think this one would unlock in like eight, nine hours or something. And then by the time next week arrives, uh, it would be over. So I'd basically just have to explain what happened next. Which isn't much of a big deal. Child, where did you go and why did you try to kill my baby? I also like that the small characters have, like, these giant claymores. Because I can imagine, like, almost all, if not all, claymores are very heavy. Ooh. Huh. This mechanism looks like it's been tampered with. Could he have done it? Smart, Fremenet! You deserve a gold star! Ooh. How would he have, like, brought it up again? Does it just, like, automatically return or something? I'm confused. Ooh! It's a rotate mechanism. Nice! Door of Resurrection activated. Why did that activate? Am I actually gonna have to fight something? I wouldn't be surprised. Child, what did you do? Oh, that's how we lifted it up. I was so confused with like the whole mechanism and how Child lifted it up if he did do this. Hmm. It's getting stuck on something. Seems like I'll have to avoid those obstacles while I turn it. So, lower it, turn it, raise it up? 
Is that what I do? Will that work? Because I feel like it was getting stuck on, like, those little pipe gear thingies. Right? Yeah. Okay, so it does work. Nice! Big brain! Yeah. Go back. I knew there was going to be some type of puzzle. Also, Fremine, where is your little hat thingy? Because in one of his idle animations, he pulls out a kind of, like, hat that kind of looks like this. And it is so cute! It's Fremine. easy to fix a machine when you know how it's built and how it works. But people... They're much more difficult. Okay, so Fremine is exactly like me in real life. I have trouble talking to people in real life. Online, it's no big deal. Kind of. It's a little hard to explain. But I am a very... Shy person, just like Fremine. Ooh, did not notice that. Was there a chest up there? I hope there wasn't. Not going back up now. Oh, probably. Can I climb these walls? No. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Where the heck is that? Where this it's is flooded? where the water starts. Okay. Remine, please don't die. The child probably dived into the water. I'll go take a look as well. He may have a hydro vision, but I don't think he's an expert diver. Can, can I move? Did my game freeze? Oh. Wait. Wait, there we go. My game was doing something. What the heck was that? I said investigate. Uh-oh. So that little bubble right there basically means that we have the same abilities that we do. Okay, something's going on. Thanks, Genshin. We basically have the same abilities as we do if we would have had the Traveler, basically. Can I do this now? Thank you! I appreciate you letting me play the game. Does he have, like, a speed boost or something? Or what? Does he have any boosts? Increases aquatic... Decreases aquatic stamina consumption for your own party members by 35%. Nice! So that's the stamina. Uh, when Fremini triggers shattered ag shatter against opponents, the damage dealt by a pressurized flow, shattering pressure, will be increased by 40% for 5 seconds. And then there's that as well. Nice! Alright. Oh my god! Wow, that actually goes down so much slower. There's a bit more sparse. These traces are natural. Okay, so he is an expert scuba diver then. I should be going in the right direction. Okay, this actually makes sense because it did show Fremine uh, drowning. There are traces here too. Almost. I need to keep going. In like the first trailer, I think. He was in different gear, obviously, but huh? traces are gone. But I don't see where he could have gone from here. At first, I thought it was Arlecchino because they had the same haircut. Wait. That's where the primordial sea was from, but my heart is racing. Remedy, you shouldn't it's be ingesting water either way. What's going on? Were you just like holding your breath all that time? Wait, what's even going on? Is Go he from Fontaine or is he not? I have to get back. I still don't know anything about what's going on. But then chlorine saved him right somehow, now. right? I should still be able to make it. Oh no! Oh, my HP is actually going down. Oh, that's not a good thing. Chlorine, save my baby, please! I know this is in the past, but it's still scary. Oh no! I can't. Why is he walking like that? Remedy! Oh no! worse and worse and I'm still underwater okay does he like adjust the water or something I'm so confused uh, I have to push 
you're not. No. <laughs> but then there was chlorine right there. How did she even know he was there? I'm so confused by all of this. What's going on? Hmm. So, in other words, the trimming you're following vanished. You're not supposed you to no ingest idea water. Where Master Child could have gone, but while you're swimming. No and I that's coming from someone swimming. who can't swim. Mm -hmm. That's right. I tried my best to swim back, but I had already put some distance between myself and the fortress, and I just couldn't find It the was that one area going. specifically, but I Probably he didn't see where Child would have gone, but Child mm -hmm. is from Shenzhnaya. He couldn't have, like, Miss dissolved. Brought you back, but we also Chlorine. Don't know why she just Her name is Chlorine. Or why she went out to save you. Miss Chlorand, you say? I must go thank her in person. You're still too weak, Remine. You can go after you've had some more rest. Aww. Miss Lynette is right. I believe Miss Floran will stay here as a guest for another few days. So, so no Seek Dream basically like a kidnapped guest. Lynette? Then I can assume Risley was the one who invited her to come down here? Well, she I mean, Risley does seem to be a fanatic You'll about be tea. To explain better than me. I'll go talk to him. Yeah, it's about time he actually told us what's going on. Yeah, I I'm very funny? confused actually. Uh, no, please go on without me. I don't want to leave just yet. Oh, that's cute. Lenny. The logical part of my brain is aware that we're safe right now, but I still can't bring myself to leave. Both of you are just in danger. Oh, that's so cute. I mean, she wasn't in any mortal danger. He was, but... Then let's just sit together for a while. That's adorable. Hey, I'll leave the infirmary to you. The traveler and I are going to head out for Man, now. why can't all Before siblings be there, like I them? Don't think you'll be disturbed. Thank you. That's so cute. Aw, oh, Deluge. Rivene, you're not supposed to ingest the water. I don't know if you know that, but you're a professional diver, so you should know that. But I'm not gonna blame you for not knowing that because you're too cute anyways. I really like Rivene. As you could tell. Alright. Duke. I forget that he also has the title yeah. of the Duke. I just think of him as the warden, basically. Duke Risley! You gotta give me some answers, man. Why did my baby almost die? And why is Chlorine here? I almost said her actual name. I don't want to say her Excuse actual me. name. Oh, Sage followed us. Or, we followed her. I take it Mr. Fremenet's condition has stabilized? Thank God. Of course. I wouldn't have left the infirmary otherwise. Aww. I've been expecting those two, but might See, I See, she did go against us, visit, but she's not a bad Melusine. I want to check up on Miss Cloran. How are you feeling? I think she said it was for... Must be fine, I think. For safety? You think? If you don't mind, I'd like to perform another quick physical exam. It'll just take a few minutes. Okay, but was the primordial All right. seawater Thank like in that entire out. area or just in that one area specifically now, where that wall was? Or what was going on? Well, want to explain yourself, Risley? Yeah, please do. I have a lot of questions <laughs> of that need answers. Partial to the word choice of explain. How about enlighten? That's literally the same word. Please enlighten us as much as you'd like. Where should I begin? How about you start by asking me any questions you have? You can start with whichever one you'd like to get answered the most. I have a lot of questions, man. You have no idea. Give me one second. Enlighten me to make aware of or inform one or share one's thoughts over what was said or done. To explain is more to clarify. Okay, so enlighten was basically just because he said enlighten because um, I didn't know anything. He would say explain if I knew something, but he needed to clarify it. Okay, that makes a little more sense. So it's not exactly the same word? Dude, I have a lot of questions. Hmm. 
school begins. Did you know about Lenny's goals from the very beginning? Uh, probably. I mean, I knew he was going to be against mm, us this no. entire time. I just knew they were Fatui operatives sent to the fortress by the Knave. As for their specific goals... Oh, yeah, that's why you did you what you did. On your investigation. Because the Fatui have been investigating... The wolf actually has a smile. I didn't realize that. But... Um... The Fatui have been infiltrating this prison a lot, and obviously he's been taking them down because they want the Fatui wants to know the secret of the prison of Meripide. Meripide, I don't know. Um, and Risley doesn't like that, obviously, because it's like his territory. Um, so maybe that's why he wanted to con contact Arlecchino and said. Since Linny said that that would basically be impossible since it's not a dire enough situation, he gave mercy to Fremenheim Lynette? I hope he gave mercy to them. I don't know if he did. You managed to monitor and stay ahead of them even though you didn't know what they were trying to do? He is the warden they for a reason. Here with ulterior motives. Also, well, he yeah, was apparently a prisoner kind of before he was the warden. So, I wonder what he did, because there's probably a slew of things he did, because even just, like, having something floating around you without, like, an actual tie to it is apparently illegal. So, if it's not a balloon and it's flying around, it's illegal. That makes no sense, but in the Nation of Justice, I'd expect there to be more laws than in the Nation of Freedom. Why didn't you stop them? Initially, I thought their goal was just to investigate Child's disappearance. No, Many actually, that was that my goal. Deliberately let him escape. Mainly. But in truth, I didn't really do anything special to help or hinder him while he was here. Everything he did, from finding helpers to leaving this place, he did on his own. Of course, it's inevitable that the Knave would make a big deal out of her fellow Harbinger's unexplained disappearance. But it wouldn't I'm make a big deal about, about her children's worked. disappearance? So I figured I might as well let the Fatui do their own investigative work. So you don't even well, know where Child went. So you were hoping Lenny's group would just do your work for you. <laughs> you make it sound like that's a bad thing. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. I mean, it's the smart way to do Fremenet things, I guess. Already, the ratio of primordial seawater around the fortress of Meripede is on the rise. Okay, the why zone though? Has always been Lenny's target, and you got roped into that investigation after running into him. What even is I the forbidden zone? I of concern for your safety, and also to prevent the fortress from becoming entangled in more irksome matters. Are the rumors true that you're also a Where is criminal? this primordial water even coming from, and why does it only curse you, Fontanians? Why would you put it like that? Isn't staying here all day and serving as the manager of the fortress a kind of sentence unto itself? I Another mean, form of prison. You I just happen to have some support from the rest kind of, the of chose this That's position all. in the first place, oh, so that right. it's kind of your I fault. Who invited Clarence down here? Wouldn't it be him? Me, of course. Yeah. I paid her good Mora to come down to the fortress for some field work. Of course he didn't. Not just to have a tea party. Miss Clarence could be considered to be an independent party. I want to be a champion duelist, except I don't want to fight Clarence. Chlorine, right? Saving Fremenet was part of that crisis. You can think of it like that, yes. Credit where credit is due. So you knew Fremenet was going to be in danger? Night. Had conditions not been as hostile as they were, he probably would have found the missing Harbinger already. Hmm. So is the Forbidden Zone the zone basically where Fremenet went then? Or is the Forbidden Zone the thing that you're keeping secret? You have a lot of scars, man. So, the Forbidden Zone really exists? That's not something you should be asking after. Or is that where the missing Nevertheless, people disappeared to? investigate Child's whereabouts. All I need to prove to you is that the Forbidden Zone had nothing to do with the Okay, so now you know my entire that plan, basically. So I don't have, have to keep anything secret. Uh, nice. We've uncovered that there's something wrong with the infirmary. And we've answered a bunch of questions that you threw at us. Isn't it about time that you answer our last question in return? Please? You make a compelling case. Do you really want to know the answer that badly? Yes! Give me all the answers! Even if the truth may not be pleasant? Okay, he's actually really cool, but... 
Not cooler than Nouvellet. I'm gonna give him that. Yes? Follow me. Oh. Okay, so maybe the Forbidden Zone is actually uh, the secret that the Fatui were trying to investigate. Okay, what you got sh Ooh, I thought we were going to the exit. Apparently not. Okay, we're going to the pipes. Oh, you know, I actually expected that to be a secret staircase. There's a hidden door here? Behind it. I thought it would just be like a tea party area or something. Like, you're fanatic about tea. Why don't you have like posters about tea and stuff? Okay, when that's in your own office, why did you hide that? I mean, I can't imagine a lot of people have come in here because you're the warden. You're the ruler of this place, basically. What is this place? What is the Fortress of Maripede hiding? Stand on the central plate. Wait, is there a secret mechanism or rule? Are we stand? We are staying. <laughs> we just slowly go down. <laughs> I love that. Once everyone taking their positions and the secret plate slowly starts to move downwards. It wasn't the exact words, but I can't read that quickly, so and I don't know why Genshin thinks I can read that quickly. Honestly, for a place so well hidden, Paimon sure doesn't see anything special. Well, clearly it's special enough for the Patui to investigate it. That is... What a huge door! There are three such isolation gates in total. Generally speaking, I'm the only one who's allowed to go inside. Hence the name Forbidden Well, Zone. I mean, you are the warden. Am I correct to assume you're going to run on back and tell your little Patui friends everything? Are we not allowed to? Well thinking of keeping anything from them. You can't keep anything from anyone, Paimon. Well, I'd advise you wait until you've seen the whole truth of this place for yourself before deciding whether or not okay, to Okay, what them. is this truth? Are we gonna see, like, dead bodies or something? I'm getting a little concerned here. Oh, just so mean. Can I use my- I can't use my bubble gun! I hate that I can't use my bubble gun in domains. I want my bubble gun! So there's a switch on the side. Yeah, Stand it's back. a giant switch. Wisely, are we gonna see bodies or something? I'm confused. What warrants the Fatui's investigation that oh, badly? They all just went up one by one. What's in the middle of that room? Do I wanna know? Is it actually relating to the Oratrice, though? Because the Oratrice was funky last time. I mean, it's not always going to go along with Nouvellet's uh, visions, but even Nouvellet and Farina said that something's going on with the Oratrice. And then, uh, in the past chapter, Linny said that he heard a voice when he was going to investigate the Oratrice, and then since he heard the voice, he left immediately. Who was that voice? What is going on with the Oratrice? What am I going to find down here? Go on, have a look. Oh, yeah, you're not going to come with me. Oh, you are. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I thought he was sending me to my death. I wouldn't be surprised if he was. It looks like a battle arena to me. The room is really empty with nothing in here, which is quite strange on its own. There's also a device... Smack dab in the middle of the room, which looks like some kind of massive sluice gate? What the heck? I've been interested in what lies beyond that gate ever since I assumed leadership of the Fortress of Merope. You don't even know? Of course, it would be unwise to recklessly open it. But it'd also be sense. risky and negligent to simply ignore any potential danger that could be behind So it. now you're gonna investigate it with us, right? The readings on that dashboard have not oh. since the day when I first laid eyes on this I place. don't like that. But over the past year, the needle has crept upwards from its original position. Likely because some parameter it's been tracking has changed, if only infinitesimally. Okay, that's the primordial C. It's tracking the primordial C. The primordial C is going up, the dial is going to go up. Normally, dials when dials go up, it goes to like... Uh, from left to right, so this would be the lower area, this would be the higher area, I don't know. It's tracking the primordial seat, isn't it? Normally I would have ignored it. 
but I happen to have some free time when I noticed it, so I investigated. Any guesses what the reading could be tracking? The water pressure? Very reasonable guesses. I've considered I think it's tracking well. the primordial sea. Fortunately, our dashboard is tracking something less ordinary. The primordial sea. The temperature sea. should vary with weather oh. and climate changes. So for something is that the rarely shifts, the water pressure is more likely. We ran a few is primordial sea like much outside, colder or something? But the or? readings didn't change at all. Later on, a few more possibilities occurred to me, such as a potential connection with the primordial sea. I began to make a few preparations based on that hypothesis. Okay, so that's what I was thinking originally. Um... For you to, like, disappear... Say, if you're, like, from Fontaine and you touch the Primordial Sea... Do you need to, like, touch a certain amount? Or do you need to have a certain amount splashed on you for you to disappear? Or do you only need, like, a minuscule droplet to disappear? Because there was the, uh, one guy's... I think... I don't think they were boyfriend and girlfriend. I think he just really liked her. She basically, like, stepped in a puddle of Primordial Sea and she disappeared. Or, er, not disappeared. Uh, basically melted? <laughs> um... Do you, is there like a certain amount or is it just like a minuscule minuscule droplet? I feel like it would be just a minuscule droplet. Also, how did not, Fremenite not disappear? Since he's not from Fontaine, would it still have like effects on him? Like not disappearing effects, but like sickness effects like it did before? Or was that just because he in basically like ingested the water so... It would be dangerous whether it was primordial sea or normal water? I don't know. I'm speculating a lot here. Over the past few days, the needle has moved again. With that and the symptoms that Fremenet displayed after leaving the fortress, I can now confidently conclude that the readings represent the concentration of primordial, primordial sea. sea water yes. in the seawater nearby. Exactly. The concentration of primordial seawater? But we're already under the sea. How can it sense it, and too? That is precisely the problem. We're at the bottom of the sea, and now we're surrounded by toxic seawater. Yeah, how do you get out? Somehow, primordial seawater got mixed in, and the concentration Man, I got to save your asses rising. again. Primordial seawater is continually linking into the sea? How and where is it coming from? Yes, that's very likely. Where is it coming what? from? Forget about the two of us. Not even Novalette knows where the primordial sea could be, much less where we could find and plug a leak. And he's like, oh, oh, he's like the Melusine King. Seems like you figured it out. I believe the primordial sea lies directly beneath this sluice gate. For some reason, the primordial seawater levels have risen significantly, and it's now very close to us. I'm the confused. indicators are now red. Although the gate still stands, some primordial seawater has already leaked out and mixed into the sea around us. Okay, so I think what he's saying is most of it is under here, but some of it leaked out outside of the Fortress of Meripede. Right? Am I getting that right? If this continues... Soon, it will no longer be able to hold back the primordial sea at all. Yeah, and then you'll all die. Farina will be left alone. Actually, I wouldn't say she would be left alone because we would still be here. Unless high enough concentrations of primordial sea would do something to us. Obviously, it wouldn't make us disappear because we're not even from this world, but... I don't know. And if the primordial sea is leaking through... If this gate falls, all of Fontaine will fall with it. Sinking. Yeah, you know what the legends say. If this place falls, then everyone in Fontaine will be turned into puddles in the span of a night. Is that what the Fatui was investigating? Why were they investigating <laughs> Fontaine's matter? So weird! Why would the fortress of Meripede be built right above a sluice gate for the primordial sea? Well, Don't there needs to... There needs to be Your some. Your expression tells me you think this might be part of a vast, complicated conspiracy. 
Well, that to be too. honest, you might there needs to be some area to, to protect the primordial sea so it doesn't just all leak out. The forbidden zone had been long forgotten by the nation before I rediscovered it with my research. There's no single founder of the fortress of Meripede in any traditional sense. What we know about its history has been it like a group of people, people who used to live here. <laughs> when the previous Hydro Archon Egeria ruled the land, all convicted criminals from Fontaine were exiled. The people drove the criminals away like a wolf pack chasing away the banished. Oh. The criminals received no sympathy of any kind from the people. They were exiled to the desolate Of course you mentioned wolves, Mr. Wolfman. struggle and the bone-chilling cold. Some of them began to repent and prayed to the Hydro Archon, asking if there was still any. Okay, they I wasn't do. listening. How did you say the Hydro, the Hydro Archon's Archon name? took pity on them and said, You may go guard my secret deep underneath the waves. Okay, so she took pity on them. And so, leaning the previous on the power Hydro, of the Hydro Archon. Archon, they gathered underneath the sea and began to build a fortress. They became a community down there in the deeps, and over the years helped it to grow. Yeah, let's just put criminals here that could probably try to investigate this specific area. And if they do investigate it, they could either disappear or cause the total destruction of an entire nation. As the number of exiles yeah, that's totally increased, safe. more and more people joined the community. When the first group of exiles died, they left the yet unfinished fortress to their successors. The Hydro Archon continued to lend her support, allowing the fortress but what happened what to her for to continue growing ever She longer. was one of the original seven, I Before believe. Before long, this dark underwater fortress became the sinner's only home. And with that, the people here stopped referring to the fortress as a prison. They saw themselves it's a as fortress sinners for the primordial sea. They had but the something's happening to the primordial on, sea. People also realized that the fortress ties? was a lonely place. The red one and a black Once one? they had gotten used to life here, they could no longer feel comfortable living in the overworld. Once they had overworld. finished serving their sentences, some people left and some others chose to stay. They'd find some idle position and let their withered souls fade away with the ancient secrets of the past. After many, and they're many just centuries, allowed to stay? Few people still remember the reason for the fortress's founding. Now they just see it as an integral pillar of Fontanian well, society. Well, obviously you know it since you're the warden. To be sent. What did you even now do to again, get in here? Researchers managed to break one law or another and live out their days in I the I mean, fortress. technically you didn't leave either? Because you just became historian. the warden? Everyone else just thought he'd made it all up. But now you know oh, every historian. part of my history is true. Indeed. That's just as the prophecy says. If this gate fails, then everyone will be dissolved into the sea. So, like, the water will come shooting up, and then it'll come shooting up out of the Fortress of Meripede that way? Or it, like, leaks under the Fortress of Meripede and out? Do you believe in prophecies? Because, I mean, Freena... And, um, Farina, Paimon, and I are going to be, like, the only ones left. That's going to be kind of depressing. To be frank, not really. But sadly, that hasn't stopped this prophecy from proving all too accurate. Prophecies are troublesome things. Just hearing one will create the first wave of panic. Seeing signs of it will bring about the second, and actually witnessing it in real time, the third. Yeah, and panic isn't good. It can lead to murder. So, as the Duke of Meripede, just what do you plan to do about it? Can you do anything about it, since you're from Fontaine? Let's go somewhere else. I want to show you something. Ooh, more field trip! Yay! I'm good, how about you? It is indeed the this Halloween month. What is it? Your Grace, perfect timing. The results from our Hi. last experiments have... Okay, so this is just the area above the elevator, basically. Wait, Jurier, he's not alone. Yeah, don't glare at me like that. He invited no, us. Don't look like we're sneaking in. No need to panic, you two. It's not I've already told them about good sneaking in. What? After you warned us not to tell a single soul about any of this? I'm skeptical as well. 
Are you sure they are trustworthy? I'm not sure you're trustworthy, man. The results speak for themselves, don't they? These two may already know more than you could ever imagine. Ah, <laughs> you have no idea. If your grace insists. They seem harmless enough, so I'll trust them. For enough. Long. Man, How I want to be one of the grand champions. This is Jurier, one of the highest ranked researchers from the Fontaine Research. And who? He used to work under Edwin. I trust that you've heard of Edwin. Um. He's the one who blew the whole institute sky high. Everyone created those knew he blocks. Was a crooked in the head, but you're not a local, so I guess it's possible for you. Not How to did Edwin him. create those blocks? Edwin's main areas of research were archaeum and gravimeters. As his assistant, Jurier is quite familiar with them as well. I hired him to be my technical consultant. Nice. You, you want to blow up the fortress of Meripee? Wait, what? Uh, what a lovely idea. I'm already imagining. It in um, my head. no. How about not? not? I'm tempted as well. What? Guys, focus. focus. Are you guys more explosive than I am? That it's me. Over there is Miss Lorveen, and is also one of my technical consultants. While Jurier used to be Edwin's assistant, she used to be Jurier's assistant. Ha! Ooh, are they together? Is that really necessary? See, everyone keeps asking this question. Are you too sure you're not a couple and Ooh. just using your work as a convenient cover? I, okay, wait. Your Grace, I am not in a relationship with this man. Wait, the other two guys were rumoring about this too. Ooh. If I dated her, I'd officially be madder than Edwin. Okay, how did Edwin even create those blocks? You said he blew the whole acad or not academia, uh, research facility sky high. I assume you mean sky high, as in those blocks. How did he do that? I want to know. Jeez, forget I said anything then. <laughs> Smiling. Okay, what's down here then? Whoa, there's another door that goes right up. Okay, so last time they w ooh muddy glass. Last time they were talking with uh, what's her name, Siegeween as well. So I wonder if Siegeween knows about this too. Your constant amazement makes it seem surprised. like the fortress can do anything. It literally can. And apparently you want to blow it up. Like, I'm a really I love the transitions. Cool. Is this just a normal room? Apparently not by the glass. What is that? Well, let's spice it up a bit. Uh, and how? Here you go. What is that? Is that just chip? What is that? Is that what a huge ship? What? This is also a production zone that Paimon's never seen before. What's going on? Is this it, the Fortress How of Merapi? How much do you know about Fontanian history? None. I not much at all. Don't stare at us like that. Well, then maybe you haven't heard the story of ancient Lemuria. Man, I got chills for no reason. Out. Fontaine used to be ruled by the Lemurian dynasty. Oh, according to legend, the Lemurian king Remus came to this land after Not being by the inspired Archon? by divine revelation and found the seer Sibylla, who had taken on the form of a golden bee. Taking the golden bee with him and riding on a huge ship, the Fortuna, he created his nation above the surging waves. He called his nation Lemuria and used the Fortuna to incessantly search for new tribes and islands, calling on them to join his empire. Okay, so he used this ship to... find more people for his empire, then? Was this, like, pre-Archon War, then? Also, doesn't Fortuna mean... fortune in Spanish? Or lucky? It either means fortune or lucky in Spanish. Uh... Ah, also in French, it means fortune. I thought it was Spanish, though. Yeah, it's in Spanish as well. Okay. Not entirely surprising that they're similar, oh, considering the they're too? very similar. Kind of similar languages. Where there's water, there'll be ships. 
People believe that hope can always be found at the end of a voyage. Okay, what is the ship doing here if that ship was used to colonize the area? Do you believe that too? To a point, I think. I think. As you've already seen, I have a whole factory's worth of labor materials and technology at my disposal. glowy stuff? Certainly can't hurt to give it a try. So the moment I began to speculate... Where that even is this? Is this underwater? Gate, I also began this project. Are you inspired by the legendary Fortuna? What, is this gonna be like Noah's Ark something? You're gonna put all of the people on a fontaine on that? And then you're just gonna sail off? Sail off the cliff that is Fontaine? <laughs> Mm, maybe. Fontanians need something to hold on to to cope with the impending disaster. Okay, so you're basically creating the Noah's Ark for humans. <laughs> Can't you share your plan with everyone? Were the workers to find out the truth behind this ship, riots would destroy the fortress faster than any catastrophe. Why? As the fortress's administrator, I'd never make such a reckless call. Alright, that's enough talking for now. I'll need another three cups of tea to soothe my throat. Where even Do is this tea? <laughs> what is Seems it with like you good. and tea? Come on, I'll take you back. I have got so many questions, man. What is this doing here? No, let me look at it more. Okay, so I saw a layer of water, so maybe now. it's like underground. Oh, maybe it's uh, like thank you so much. protected by the no fortress worries. of Merope? But don't forget. Then how would you get it out? You want to share what you just saw. What you do from here on out will likely affect those three as well. He means that my actions will now decide the next steps Minnie's group will take. Group takes. In other words, if I want to tell Linny the truth, I must make him understand that we cannot afford excessive conflict right now. Yeah, we'll put a lot of thought into it for sure. Yeah. Great. I look forward to what happens next. Okay, thanks, dude. I have more questions. So, there's a giant ship under the Fortress of Aripede. Where is that exactly? Because this is normally where we get captured by the lights of the Fortress of Aripede, so this could be where it originally is, like under this area. Because we get caught by the lights over here, and then we get sent over here. So it could be that uh, the ship is under here. <sighs> Speculation. I don't know. I'm even more confused than I originally left off. Thanks, Risley. I really appreciate that. Oh, so back to the matter. Where is Child? There's literally no way for him to escape originally. Welcome back. How can you Oops. be so much like Risley? Always drinking tea. Did not mean to skip that. Oh yeah, she just basically asked us if we wanted a cup of tea. Huh. Actually, <gasps> she is like Risley. I, I for something now. I forgot that uh she actually has an idle animation where I think she turns a card into a teacup, which is really cool. While I was sedated, I could still barely hear two people talking next to me. They were discussing were they? everything, from the leaves, to the water, and even the teacups themselves. Oh? Must have been Risley and Sishwing. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I heard one male voice and one female, so it should have been the two of them. They really were just talking about brewing tea. I'm, I'm not, not sure surprised! Of this place. So, Traveler, Paimon, were you able to learn anything from Risley? Yeah, we need you to not start fights, please. <laughs> I think that was basically the gist of it. <laughs> um, oh god, what was I gonna say? Right, in the trailer, Siege Ween actually tried to get uh, Risley to drink something else, but he basically just took his tea and she got mad at him for that, which was absolutely adorable. And that was in the first trailer, actually. Yeah, he explained everything. Very well. Then, would you mind checking your answers against my speculations? I don't know, man. I have more questions than answers right now, but sure. 
He sounds a lot more like his old self. Yeah, I took the time to rest, so I'm feeling a lot more relaxed now. I'm still confused Nobody on what's going on and what we have to do. Sijuin is also busy with something or other, so let's just talk here. All right, then I'll posit my theories. I asked myself three questions. First, why is it always three? Why was Fremenet affected by the primordial seawater? It was because he dove into the sea. My theory is the long lost primordial sea is probably very Ooh, close to the wait. wait a minute. Whoa, seems good. He got that right on the first try. Okay, so wait a minute. So the primordial sea and that, like, the sea sea are different things. Did the primordial sea, like, create or distill into normal seawater and then only like a little bit left was left of the primordial seawater and that's the one area that Risley showed us that's all really confusing that's our Lenny. secondly Risley's attitude changed dramatically during the course of our stay here he ignored us completely at first, then suddenly roadblocked us. Why? Because he doesn't want you knowing the secret? I spent quite a long a time word thinking comes about back. this. If he is There's primordial the sea the very under us, he and us it's going out of control. We could find Master Child there's also a giant ship under us, apparently. More, the Fortress of Child is not somehow. part of Fontaine's court system, about him. nor does it report to Udex Nervulet. Risley is basically the king of a no-man's land. As long as the fortress doesn't do anything about Master Child's disappearance, Father can use it to pressure the Fontaine Why authorities. do you say Father? And while the two factions are pitted against each other, Risley will be free to move between the parties of interest. If I had to guess, he probably has something that is Ooh, working on Ooh, wait a minute! It's likely related to the secret of the infirmary, but I just can't think of what it could be. Oh, try a giant ship! <laughs> Try Noah's Ark. Um. Wow. I guess there's no hiding anything from Linny. What's your third question? You're super smart. <laughs> Thanks so much. Then finally. I mean, can I really part. tell you the specifics? Because you're basically telling yourself if what Rising we know. Does have a plan. What could it be? All I know for now is that his plan probably has something to do with the changing nature of the seawater. He's even gotten Chloran to help him out. Chlorine! Uh, that can't be the full extent of what he's doing. There's probably a secret passageway behind the block in the infirmary, and there's something big in the fortress that most people here never get to see. He has a bargaining chip, and it could be important enough for Father to deal with him directly. I, I mean, there is the primordial sea, so but I, I don't no understand what, what the chip might be. The but let me guess. Chip would be. You have the last piece of the puzzle. Do I? For some deliberation, you share the information you just learned with Lenny and company. While sharing what you saw, you emphasize no. <sighs> okay, yep. I can't believe it. Why does Genji? I. We'll they see. need to fix that. Will engulf everyone. Just like the prophecy said. Could Risley have wanted to meet Father to figure out a way to deal with this crisis? Maybe. If you remember. I once mentioned that I mean, Father he probably just wants the Fatui off his tail, I'm gonna be honest. And she truly wants to resolve the crisis. But how could Does Risley she? that? Or, or is she doing it for her best interest? Side, because she's be a Fatui a harbinger! No offense, you guys, but the Fatui are evil. Yeah, that makes I understand sense you three want to do as well, what you can to save people, but still, can't trust the Fatui. No matter what, we're on your side. I trust that you're on my side. I don't the trust that your father is on my side. He probably wouldn't be standing here right now if not for you. If you ever need anything else going forward, please come. I'm to just glad my baby's all right. Though you may not share the sentiment. Man, what is with Linda being kidnapped though? Kidnapped two down. times already. You I mean, she was saved the second time, but still. Thank you for protecting Linny when it really mattered. And thank you for sharing the secrets of the fortress with us. We didn't think you were going to do it. Neither did I. Uh, why are you being so formal all of a sudden? We can work together if necessary. Given your strength, you might not need our help at all. Oh, 
But if you are ever in danger, we will try our best to protect you. Aww, the sound of that makes Paimon feel all warm and safe inside. That's adorable. What was that? Uh, stomach growling? Uh, Paimon... Paimon's hungry. <laughs> Rolling of the eyes, it's so cute. You've done so much already. Go get some food. All right, then we'll catch you guys another time. Man, I have so many unanswered questions. Can we not get food and can we just investigate all of this? What's going on? What does all of this mean? Where do we go from here? Wrong one. I don't know what to do. Cata See, it's called Cataclysm's Quickening. And cataclysm, uh, that basically just means the primordial sea is quickening. But, um, it's called Cataclysm Quickening, not because of the cataclysm where Conria was destroyed, but because of, um, <gasps> wait, does it actually say here what quest it's gonna block? Or are these just quests that I that I wants me to do? I don't know. Um, it says cataclysm quickening because cataclysm basically just means destruction, death, that kind of stuff, that kind of thing. Blah. Blah. Collect that really quick. All right, are we gonna get purple meat now, or are we gonna get actual food? I no, I want to do the slip thingy. I want to see what my coupon is if I have good luck. Come on, let's go pick up ours as well. Uh, Traveler and Paimon, uh, over here. Seasween, please don't swap my food again. Are you here for dinner too, Miss Seasween? Mm-hmm. And I'm taking the opportunity to prepare Miss Cloran's dinner as well. Huh. Ooh, fancy. You're right. She's actually sitting in the fortress cafeteria. <laughs> what would you like to eat? Uh, not... Something purple, preferably? Yep, you can. I've already talked to our chef, Mr. Wolsey. It's all on me today, so you can get whatever you want. Was that because you gave us purple meat before? <laughs> we get a choice! I love the tastiest stuff you have to offer, the biggest portion. See, I'd say the tastiest stuff. Quality over quantity, I guess. Me too! Don't forget Paimon! No problem. Just leave it to me. After a while, uh, Seijin's order arrives. The shakes please taste pretty terrible. <laughs> I don't know why it thinks I could read that fast. I I really don't like that. I can't even read that fast when I'm like not reading aloud. Because I can read faster when I'm not reading aloud, but still. And I mean, I can read that. Why? They need to fix that. Where it's like, um, where it's like a press to continue. And I don't know if that's just because I have it on autoplay, but I don't think it is. I think it just always automatically, like, automatically skips. <laughs> free, free food is amazing. Is this how it feels to be freeloaders? <laughs> Hi, but you are like constantly a freeloader. Feeling full yet? How's the food? Delicious. Besides the milk, uh, I mean everything was super delicious. Uh, I'm so glad to see you all so happy. Oh, see the expression on your face just now. But the muscle here just moved, which suggests that you're feeling quite relaxed at the moment. <laughs> he really likes study humans. Do you do this? Help your patients or to better understand human beings. Better understand, I guess. Am I really human though? A bit of both, I suppose. I mean, I'm MMO similar to a human, but I'm very different from not. I, I, I don't know what the traveler and Paimon are. Of you. We're aliens You're to really Tibet, basically. Care of well, Paimon, I don't know about, so but short, you still talk and act like an older sister. Really? I mean, she You're seems like a younger sister sometimes sister? too. That's great to hear. That's cute. Oh, and what did you mean back in Risley's office when you said that you were protecting Linny and his siblings as well? I mean, I don't think she was going to hurt them. Oh, that. I just 
just asked his grace to look out for those children, especially that diver boy. Is Chlorine going to be able to give us any information? Something was wrong with the water. Because Riley said that our actions Thankfully, would have Chlorine consequences for Linny and Lynette. His grace also sealed the pipes after Chlorine left to make sure that Linny wouldn't impulsively chase after his brother. Although the path was blocked, they still stationed some guards there to stop anyone from approaching. They were instructed to only open the door once Miss Clarand had returned. Oh, they okay, opened the door for Clarion, well. but it was locked, so then the Lenny wouldn't go there. Real danger. You were all super considerate and really thought everything through. Aww. <laughs> it's just well, thank you for not allowing my baby to die. At least this has been his grace's style for as long as you've been the leader. How long has he been the leader? Mm -hmm. I really wish Monsieur Nervula would come down here more often, too. Yeah, I because he's like the Melusine King, isn't he? All the darkness and chaos. He'd like it here? Doesn't that... But that doesn't make any sense at all. It's hard to imagine Nervula outside of his office. I mean, he doesn't like to normally go outside outside, but he's technically considered to be underwater, so maybe he would like it? Get a good night's rest, you two. You both worked very hard. Man! You know, I have my questions answered, though. I wonder if I can actually ask Florian any questions. Why are you standing like that? Can I- Can I get my fortune slip, please? Does it depend on the time? I don't think it would. It's not gonna give me my slip. Chlorine, did you take a uh, brand? Chlorine. Ah, uh, it'd be cooler if your hair was blonde. I like your hair, but it'd be cooler if it's blonde. It's so right. it'd be like Missy's chlorine put in a lot color. Of effort. So we heard that Brisley invited you to come down to help, and you saved Fremenay too. You sure work Although, super fast. I feel like chlorine oh, would kill hair. It was child's play. Still, Child I play. <laughs> I want to be a champion oh, duelist. Are there like multiple champion duelists, or is there there only one? Because if there's only one, then I'm basically screwed. I can't battle people. you. And the Duke has business of his own. I battled an Archon before, Actually, and you can beat her easily. You went out for dinner with her as well. Yeah. First time in a long time. First time in a long time. So you mean you've gone out to dinner with her in the past? In the past, yes. <clears throat> you seem to be enjoying yourselves here. I mean, it's technically a work trip, but part of it is thanks to Nublet. Things will be. We're here because of Nublet. Don't run. Not really. Thanks to Nublet. Oh, she's gone. Well, all right then. I guess everybody just does not want to talk to me. Fine. Guess I don't want to talk to them either. Man, where did Child go? Where is the ship? Where is the Primordial Sea? Was the dial tracking the Primordial Sea like all the way up? Or was it like on the lower scale going up? Because he said that it had turned red so that indicates that the dial was a different color before. So that means the primordial sea could be more intense, right? Maybe. Oh, so much has happened. Paimon just feels absolutely. Why can't it teleport us, man? Really I gotta run all the time. Oh, Paimon's super sleepy. Are you sleepy too? Man, don't yawn in game. You're gonna make me yawn in real life. And then she's out. Wow, she really immediately fell asleep. Mm, delicious. No. I'm on one seconds for free. Why would you always get free food? But that's kind of the sad thing because I see Paimon and Lumine's relationship. As like best friends and or like siblings because like one teases the other. Um, they're both like 
with each other all the way. Um, they tell each other things. It, it's like a sister-sister relationship. Even though in real life, yes, sisters will not get along. Trust me, I know. Oh, that's so cute. Out of my way. Get out of my way. Uh-oh. What happened? Why is everyone running? Oh no. Why is everyone oh, running? I thought it was a dream. Stop asking. Oh, uh -huh. Who's yelling? Primon still wants to sleep. Oh, that can't be a good thing. What's that sound? Paimon, wake up. We need to go outside and see what's going on. Oh, she takes Paimon with her. That's cute. And Paimon does come with us, technically. Even though she just disappeared. She's mad at us. Uh, what's going on? Those are alarms blaring. It was really hard to, for me to hear and... Uh, you might not actually be able to hear it, but there are alarms blaring. It sounds like it's coming from up there. Maybe it's coming from over there. Why are there even spotlights up there? What happened? Why is everyone running in Why is that guy jerking his head? Hey, what are you doing? There's no time to explain, mate. Goodbye. It has to do with the primordial sea. What's wrong with these people? They won't even talk to us. Primordial sea, we're my friends. They're here. Yeah. There you are. Oh, <gasps> you came to find me. Oh, thank goodness. Even in all the caves? We still in Lavaroon. Do you know what happened here? We came here especially to inform you. Thank you. Something seems to have gone terribly wrong. See, I think now. he was a chef. His grace is telling everyone to evacuate and get out of here. Chef and a bartender, was it? You two are new here, and you don't have many friends, so you might slip through the cracks. Haven't you oh. heard all the stories like that? An evacuation is successfully completed. Yet you only find out once you do a head count that one or two people are missing. Oh, thank Wait, you, Quisto. You brought that up? Why is it suddenly my idea? Hey, shut up. <laughs> okay, whatever. The I, these point two is, actually. You, you said his grace said to evacuate. Outwards? Isn't the primordial sea leaking outwards? Did his grace say specifically? Oh my god. Hold on. Ah, oh, dang it, dogs. Um, yeah, that might not have not, that might not have been wisely. <laughs> Yeah, he said to get as far away as possible, upwards and outwards. Upwards and outwards makes sense, but the primordial sea leaking out doesn't. Was that really Risley? And that means whatever happened must have happened down below. Oh no. Isn't the gate at the very bottom? Oh no. It can't be that thing! I mean, Risley must have, like, seen the water and then, like... If this really was from Risley, he must have seen the water and then... <laughs> Wait, do these people all have to swim out? <laughs> okay, that'd be weird if they did. But to see like a bunch of prisoners swimming out of the... <laughs> swimming out of the fortress. <laughs> okay, that would actually be pretty funny. But if that was Risley, he must have like seen the water rising up or... Something like that? And then, like, told everyone to evacuate that way? Is that the reason? Oh, wait, what? What? Hey, where are you going? I don't we know! Go by the Duke. You two just go and get out! Go on without us! We'll be fine, because we're not from Fontaine. Hey, hey, be careful! Man, I like these two! Oh, wow, There, there's actually an alarm. Um, Risley, what's going on? T-Man, did you rescue your tea at least? 
I know I'm not supposed to go up here. You didn't even rescue your tea! Okay, something's happened to Risley. Uh-oh. Risley! I can touch the water. He can't. <gasps> Cutscene! Chlorine, where's Risley? Oh, there's Risley. They're here. Okay, so you must have noticed Just something like going said. on before it actually happened. You must have seen it breaking down. You're just in time. Run. Yep. Be ready to run. Uh, ooh, I'm not from Fontaine. Although, if, if it's pressurized water, then... Resident, you can't touch that. I know you have a cryo vision, but you can't touch it. Resident... Okay, so he did- he just did a Shenha with his hands! Okay, that's not gonna last forever, is it? It's gonna keep trying to rise, and then it's gonna explode! Cause that's how the- cause ha that's how it works! That's how pressure works! Uh, you and Koran gotta get out of here! Three, two, one. What's going on? Oh, Indiana Jones! Wesley? Ooh! Oh my god, Indiana Jones type stuff. It's this gonna- hold it for long. No, Find it's gonna- unit. Tell him the defenses are about to collapse. It's- Oh, look off. Until he arrives, we're the last line of defense. You could die by touching it! One droplet and it could kill you! Probably. The gate. How long do you think it? Not will long. Be? It's gonna build constantly. Depends on, us. depends on how much water there is, but it's gonna constantly build pressure, and then it's gonna explode, and then they're gonna die, and then it's gonna leak out entirely, and it's gonna flood Fontaine. Why did the previous Archon even keep this? primordial water why is it cursing the people of fontaine why is all of this happening why are you here? Yeah, why are you here traveler i need you to head to the opera house immediately uh no time farina actually will soon be meeting with the knave there you must protect farina and make sure she doesn't spend too much time alone with her <gasps> right in the in the trailer farina was screaming as if our Lucino was threatening her life Okay, you can explain everything else to me later. You need to help them down there. Will do. You have my sincerest Please go help them. I, I think he was going down there anyways. Oh no, Freena. Freena! Oh no, 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 no. That's not a good thing. Oh no, Freena's in danger. Um, Fontaine's in danger. So much is going on. Uh, why are there Fatui? Look, there are a ton of Fatui and Palais Marmonia people mm. over there. The knave is probably here already. We need to hurry. Palais Marmonia. Nice. Are you two the traveler in Hymon? Yes. Let I'm me sure pass. I have no time. Please follow me. Though I'm sure he's already explained, this should be a mostly cordial conversation, unlikely to give rise to violence. No, oh, I, I, I doubt that, considering it's a harbinger. To the best of your ability. Actually, I feel like seeing me specifically. Actually, Freena, or er, Nuvalet did say Freena could have been hiding something from him and me. But I feel like Arlegia is only going to attack if she sees me specifically because I'm kind of on their number one hit list. Alright, sure. I really want to see a new, a small Melusine Nouvellet if he really is the Melusine King. Personal theory. Don't know who he actually is. And I'm avoiding basically all content on Genshin right now just because I don't want spoilers as to who he is if it was revealed. Farina, I'm here to save you. You are my baby as well. You are not. Oh, 
So you two are the honored guests Miss Farina mentioned. See, behind her hair, she has a pyro vision. Passion vision. Now, I don't know about her delusion. Of course, of course. How could they not attend a meeting such as this? Uh, Farina, can I eat this I cake? Last time I ate cake, I got arrested. My dessert table. Otherwise, Is it the a lie? Would be too lonely and unbecoming of my station. It is my pleasure to make your acquaintance, Traveler. I have heard much of your accomplishments. I am the Knave. One of the eleven Fatui Harbingers. Yeah, I'm not interested in you. I'm interested in protecting my baby. Although I will give you credit where credit is due. You do look very cool and you do look very threatening. Nice job. Gold star. Um, I do like that her... Uh, little pendant also looks like uh the fatui symbol because the fatui symbol is like this four i don't want to say circle for for a little area almost like a window um and it's kind of like this which is really cool so this is the nave the head of the house of the hearth that's a tongue full and the lineage siblings Father. Yeah, why do they call you father? She certainly does not seem easy to deal with. No kidding. She does not look easy to deal with. Mmm, I wouldn't really say it's a pleasure. Greetings. I've already prepared seats for you. Come, sit beside me. Oh, you even a cake a cake for Paimon. That's cute. Perhaps you two are unaware of how Miss Farina and I do things. You see. We actually recently agreed to get together for tea when we had the time. Actually, I noticed. And I also noticed that Fran seemed a little bit tense. So she might be hiding something. I like that they kind of like condensed the smoky area to make it look like the tea was like uh, steaming. Which is a really cool small detail. I love the small details they added in this. See this? This is a limited type of confectionery that Miss Farina simply adores. There are only 16 slices sold every day. Here, why don't you and Paimon have a taste? I appreciate that, Farina. Am I allowed to do this? I don't want to go to jail for real. She seems friendly enough. That's a guise! But that can't be all there is to her. Maybe it's a force to you reckon with. I should be very cautious of her. What was her status in the Harbingers? I don't remember what number of the Fatui she was. And it's not just in in the Fatui Harbingers. The number doesn't always have to deal with uh, power specifically, I don't think. Because... Um, Obviously, child's at the very bottom, but and he could be the weakest. But there are also guys like um, oh god, what's his name? I uh, see. I know he's known as the rooster, and he actually kind of looks like a rooster because he has a long nose. He has long ears, like Clee. But uh. I believe he would be like in a format or something like that. I don't know. I don't think it has to do all about combat abilities. The knave, it probably is, but I don't know. What's her position? I wonder if she's gonna be a playable character. Rank unknown that is a lie I thought it said her rank um I don't know her rank whatever Traveler, what do you think of this cake? I don't know. I, I wish I could try it in real life because I like cake. Quite tasty, and I think Paimon agrees too. That's good to hear. 
So what child said was on the mark after all. You do share a taste in desserts with Farina and I. Ah, so you like desserts too. Wait, child should have no reason to have said something like that. I wonder how he's doing nowadays. You must have heard, right? He's suddenly gone missing. I'm really worried about his safety, you know. That's a lie. Here's to hoping that he's an excellent swimmer. But he's not from Fontaine, so he couldn't have dissolved. Also, she doesn't have light in her eyes like Child as well, so that's really suspicious. The only two characters that don't have like a light in their eyes. Unless she's just not opening her eyes wide enough. I have faith in his abilities. See, I did say before that it's rumored that um, the rooster is actually taking care of um, child siblings in his absent. And I feel like he might actually use that against child in the far future. Uh, since we are talking about child him, might be the I only relatively the innocent is one Marshall in really the Harbingers. Certainly pretty impressive. He's not yeah. completely innocent. He almost drowned a nation, but still. Partially. Farina looks quite nervous, and she sounds, too. There must be some kind of bad blood between her and the knave. And I feel like... I don't know. I don't necessarily know if she is the Hydro Archon, because it doesn't seem like she has a lot of power, or just power that she hasn't shown yet maybe it's because the primordial seed like took her power or something like that or her power was sealed away or i don't know why she's not like showing her archon abilities she's an archon they couldn't defeat her but apparently she can because in the trailer she was threatened i don't know what's going on oh so, you're also familiar with his aptitude for fighting, Miss Farina. Yeah, he'll fight on any chance oh, he gets. Right. No, I okay, so you don't have lightning eyes. child was subdued by Udex Nubilet right in front of you. Yeah, that's actually Against pretty funny. Against ordinary people, my colleague would never be on the back foot. But alas, he just I'm never not ordinary imagined people. he'd run into such a person. Hmm. I must express my admiration for I mean, Monsieur Nubilet. It's pretty easy to knock out Child, I'm gonna be honest. I managed to find a few leads on his whereabouts. Hmm. Coming from you, that's not surprising at all. Oh. Uh, but I thought you would be happier to hear the news. Yes, yeah, so did I. Of course, but it's still a bit of a shame. You see, I would have been far happier had I received this news somewhat earlier. As you well know, a long time has passed since Child disappeared. Uh, okay, how much time exactly? When did he exactly uh, disappear? Well, in any case, there's no need to worry. We know for sure that Child is still alive. Oh, and just how do you know that? Because he's not from Fontaine? Because, uh, because we found evidence that proves he left the Fortress of Meridide. But we don't and know where how. Did he go after leaving the fortress. Oh, are you actually interested? Do you not know where he is? Oh no, Paimon's statement just left us wide open. Paimon, shut up! The fortress of Meripede lies deep beneath the waves. Unless he pranced right out of the main gate, he must have had to swim for it. Do you have any proof that he surfaced safely? Uh, we do not. But he's not from Fontaine, so he couldn't have dissolved, right? But there was no evidence that he's been injured or killed. Ah, oh, that is good news at least. His sister Tonya sent a letter to Fontaine not too long ago. Since he was unfortunately unavailable, I picked it up on his behalf. Oh, jeez. Do you have any idea how he usually writes back to his family? Dear Tonya, your letter made me feel like we were still enjoying our time in Snezhnaya together. I'm currently admiring the scenery on the streets in front of the Opera House. Is it something like that? Actually, yeah, it is. That's creepy. 
she's turning up the pressure. I'm not sure if I'll be able to convince her, but I can at least try to distract her from Farina. Farina, what are you hiding from me? Again, it's literally like what happened with, um... It's exactly like what happened with Linny and Lynette. They didn't tell me the full truth, so I couldn't protect them immediately. You guys need to tell me what you know so I can protect you, Farina! All letters tend to follow the same few formats anyway, right? As long as the contents are accurate, it doesn't matter so much how it's written or how it's worded. Uh, huh? Hold on. Oh, oh. The water in the teacup is shaking. Is that from the primordial sea? <laughs> oh, no. I like the ripple effect, though. I suppose though. this is also a sign of things to come, Miss Farina. Are you the reason that that stuff is happening with... Hold on, I'm trying to find... She is the fourth of the 11 Fatui Harbingers. Okay, so she's pretty high up. Uh, what were the other Fatui Harbingers' statuses that we know of? I know Child was the last, so I think he's the 11th of the 11 Fatui Harbingers, and... I mean, I don't think the Wanderer and Senora don't really matter that much. I'm curious about the others. Um... Fatui Harbingers... Um, can I see what their statuses are so far? Ildatori is the second, and I believe that one guy that almost looks like Kaya might be the first. Then who's the third? Is the third actually the Belladeer? No, he might have been like the sixth or something. I don't know. I'm all just speculating here. Uh, or Chino, the name, whatever you want to be called. I feel like you are the reason why the stuff is happening inside of um, the Fortress of Meripede. Uh, also, Farina, you're hiding something from me. What you're trying to say. Farina. Have we entered into the next stage of the prophecy? Oh no. She knows. Do you know Farina? Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Wickle Crack. I see the My cracks. Thanks to you both. I will take it from here. <laughs> Whoever you are, aren't sure you, you from Fontaine as well? Quite sure. Wow. So, what's your secret, huh? Uh, let me guess. I love their relationship! <laughs> Defense! Ah, uh, who knows? Maybe it's just your sense of responsibility. Who even are you, Nouvellet? <laughs> Sounds about right. Are you the Millicent King? I thought you were from Fontaine! You... You can't touch the purple water! Right? Oh, no. Am I gonna see what happens? Okay, is the water touching him, or is he preventing it from touching him? What's going on? Wait, why is this so cool? The animation! A day may come when well, there's the a star on his... And the water oh. burst forth. But it is not this day. Ooh. This ancient power could <gasps> easily... Like his idol animation! The tsunami of fury would unleash endless catastrophe. How are you doing what you do, though? Are you controlling the primordial sea directly? How? Also, why didn't you come here from the start? The sentence is too severe. Forgive me for overruling it. I'm. 
What sense? I'm so confused. Did he control the primordial sea water? All right. What sense? It seems like the problem inside has been suppressed. Let has it guess. been solved? We're safe for now. For now? <laughs> Indeed. But only for now. I'm so confused. Who are death. you, Nouvellet? You owe me a present. <laughs> <sighs> Very well. It was indeed just as you said. Let me guess. T. You made a bet? Of course they did. We made a bet on the size <laughs> of your entourage. Cloran thought you wouldn't come down by yourself. I figured you would have at least brought a few people along for appearances sake. Appearances sake? It appears I underestimated just how confidential the mission was. Shouldn't you have gotten used to confidential missions by now? That's just how the courts operate. So I mean, what you are the, the Grand Duelist. T. Most likely. Mm. He already has tons of tea in his office. I'm thinking about a set of legal codices. What is that? It wouldn't happen to be a dig at my lack of legal awareness, would it? Well, I'm sure oh, his doesn't he's trying to get him arrested. The law. I was under the impression the residents of a place like this would be uninterested in the legal codices. What are legal codices? <sighs> that was obviously a joke. <laughs> Who are By you, Nouvelet, though? You've still got some unfinished business to attend to in the overworld. Um, right? no need to how stay long here, is that matter. ceiling going to stay exactly? For long. Thank you. I'm getting a little concerned. I hope everything went smoothly with the Fatui Harbor. Uh, I'm not exactly sure about that. Okay, so I think it was shaking because of the water how because it's so far from it <sighs> that's confusing i must say we've spent long enough playing house i mean is maybe you as the hydro archon i am sure you understand the exact meaning of the phenomenon we just witnessed Witness. or should i say that's what i originally thought but looking at your expression was i wrong and you haven't a clue. Wait, she doesn't what know what's going on with the primordial sea? At this point, what is I don't going think there's on? any more need to speak as diplomatic representatives. Allow me to speak to you now as just a Fontanian. You know Because she is originally from heart, Fontaine. And also that every part of it is being proven true. Yet, here you are relaxing, drinking tea, and eating desserts as if it's all nothing more than a few stray bugs in your garden. I mean, that was... Do you really think that's acceptable? That's basically what, um... I'm a teacup. <laughs> that's basically what, um... The royals from France did, like... Centuries ago? Uh... You know the saying, let them have cake? That's basically, let them have cake, I think, when uh, there was, like, a bunch of poor people, and yet they were eating something as fancy as cake, because not all resources were as available as they are today. As they were back then. And that makes any sense. It, it basically proves that her people are suffering, she's not... I don't know exactly what's going on here, but it's similar. The prophecy's hanging above our necks like a guillotine. Every Am I the prophecy? Way to either avert the disaster I'm or the save their own. Even the orphans of the House of the Heart have devoted everything to saving their homeland. But you? It beggars belief just how nonchalant and carefree you have been. From the very beginning, you, the god Fosalor. Yeah, she's not exactly telling us everything. To take action. Reina, what's going You're on? Wrong. I've never <laughs> ignored the prophecy. Nor have I just been passing the time in self-indulgence. Retract your accusation and stop doubting the wisdom of the gods with such absurd conjectures. I am not alone in I mean, it's kind of her job to doubt the, the gods the and take their no seats, the but... Thoughts right now. I feel oh, like Freena's Gnosis would be in her hat. How are you going to save them? Save us? How are the people you've sworn to protect supposed to survive in a land that will soon disappear beneath the waves? Move! I have my ways. 
And Ooh. I've been working on them for all this time. Yeah, your weapon Even is if you look down upon me. You have no right to judge me. Fontaine will be saved. Even even if I still cannot see the true future right now, as long as I continue on as I am, I will be able to hold my head up high. Yeah, Brina! Brina's not acting like her usual self. She usually... She's actually... Seriously refuting the name's accusations. She means what she says. She's not putting on a front. So this is who Farina is. Then I ask you, Miss Farina, just what have you been working on? Where a boat. Can we see it, and what is it doing to help? It's literally Noah's Ark. It's Farina's <laughs> Ark. Or, um... Risley's Ark? I don't know. So, was that all a lie? Or can she really not tell us? I feel like she can't tell us because it's something... An oath. It's... It might be like an oath of the Archons or something like that. I don't know. She was so full of conviction and confidence just now, but now she's like a deflated and pop balloon. My Again. machinations are just like the prophecy itself. They will only just tell her that you can't tell her, time. Farina. It is just that beings like yourselves are unable beings. to perceive them as of yet. You mean mortals? Mm, I see. As a god, the proof Ooh. of your labor always lies beyond prying mortal eyes. Uh-oh. Allow me to be so bold as to ask another way. Would it be possible for you to tell us the parts of your plan that are not confidential? I feel like it would Such all be confidential. Your emergency response plan for the impending disaster? I guess that's not uh, confidential. An emergency response plan? Freena, you're screwing oh, yourself over, lady. Look in your eyes. Have you not even prepared one of those? I mean, I feel like Nouvellet would do that, but... The emergency response plan is also strictly confidential. Uh, that's then a allow lie. allow me to jog your memory. Miss Farina, she doesn't have what a plan. Is the purpose of your oratrice mechanique Denelise Cardinal? And what do you plan to do with the massive amounts of indemnidium that has accumulated over the years? Indemnidium? What is that? But Okay, I just had an instant theory. What if since Farina was confused on how the oratrice even worked, Maybe she didn't create the Oratrice. Maybe the previous Hydro Archon created the Oratrice. That's why Farina doesn't know how it works. The Oratrice? It, it's just like it appears to be. Hmm. So you also have no idea. If I mean, I feel like it was created by the previous Hydro Archon, so probably. But unfortunately, it would seem that someone is not you, Miss Farina. Oh. I first caught wind of this when Linny tried to investigate the Oratrice in the Opera House. I do like your you suit, see, though. Even just getting close to the core contaminated him with an extremely large amount of indemnidium. But even if that had nothing to do with you, was that then indemnidium what could you possibly the, be working on the voice oh, heard? great Hydro Archon? She can't tell oh, you! Right. I almost forgot. Udex Nouvellet is not at the tea party with us today. Miss Farina, I suppose you must have ordered him away to take care of some troublesome business. Yeah, I feel like you know uh, about that troublesome yeah, business. Yes, Why do you have red in your exactly hair? exactly right. Please keep it a secret for me. Of course I will. Although... I must say, Miss Farina, you seem quite insecure without the Udex by your side. I mean, she does. Oh, very well. Because he Let's might be better with words, which is here. actually quite shocking. There are still a few slices of cake left, so please help yourselves, everyone. Yeah, I hope you didn't poison the cake. These aren't topics I can speak about. I don't even know what Nouvellet's task was. If I had to guess, he probably went to deal with the surging primordial sea but can he really deal with it all by himself apparently somehow and is farina being truthful or not farina we need to know traveler i heard that you were recently commissioned to handle a few matters on behalf of the udex 
Why don't you take an extra slice of cake? Oh, Those me. who work hard deserve gratitude and praise. Okay, I like her and I don't like her. But, um... Yeah, we were actually investigating your harbinger's disappearance, because not, not even you know? Well, you might know and you're just keeping a secret. You too, Paimon. Well, Child did say when he left that he said that something was calling him. And, like, before all this, he said something, like, with a dream that uh, his power... Like, a master said that his power would eventually be used for something calling inside of him? That could be it? I don't know. Uh, thank you. Paimon will take you up on that uh, I mean, it's green cake. I'm not sure. It seems poisoned. Can you proceed with topic that brings up numbers of less? Okay, thanks. I really oh, appreciate that. Paimon's super full. That cake was great. Uh, was it poison? <laughs> if it's on my tea table. Okay, so we were allowed story. to eat that. Uh, yes. <laughs> Let them eat cake, she says. Thank you for bringing these over as well. You're welcome. I'm sure the cake oh, also Oh, she brought them over. That's fun. We're now poisoned. Table. And I was merely catering to Miss Farina's tastes, seeking a chance to chat over tea. Uh huh. Mm, it is getting late. Why don't we call it a day? You're intimidating there the There are still a few matters that I need to take care of, so I must take my own. Yeah, what are those matters exactly? Well. we'll end it here. Mind seeing me off, traveler. We could use the opportunity to discuss child before mm. I must be on my way. Not sure if I trust you, but... Sure. Paimon's coming too! Yeah, not sure if I trust you, and I also don't know who Nouvellet is. Farina, can you tell me anything? <sighs> the tea party turned out to be even more difficult than I'd imagined. Yeah, Farina, I... who even uh, are you? <laughs> Why Two. are you looking at me like that? Is something the matter? Yeah, if a lot, actually. Urgent, then I shall be retiring for now. Farina, there's a lot that matters. Um, Alright, follow the name to the exit. Sure, we're just gonna walk her out. And make it seem like she's totally not going to do anything at all. Wait, we were back there? Wait, is this New Let's office? Or is this like... No, this isn't an office at all. Oh. It's just like a meeting room of sorts. Oh, this is where we went with Linny and Lynette to... um discuss after it had been informed to us that um what was it after it had been informed to us that they were in fact fatui harbingers or not harbingers i'd be very concerned if they were harbingers they're fatui members not harbingers they work for a harbinger is that marble uh, i'd be surprised if it was because it's very fancy yeah, I don't know if I like you, um, Arlecchino. You're very suspicious. I'm glad that you were willing to come with me. Mm. Of course, child was just an excuse. You bring Quite a very interesting interesting large air of anonymity to you. What do you want to say? You lent your aid to the children of the House of the Hearth as their father. Why do you say father? Gratitude. You're their mother, not father. I didn't think that's what you wanted to talk about. Do I look like an irresponsible father to you? I mean, kind of. <laughs> the house of the hearth is very important to me. You should know that I care deeply about my children. Uh, I highly doubt that, actually. I feel like you're just playing a part, but sure. Was there nothing else you wanted to say? That was all. Formal topics should be discussed in formal settings, and informal topics in informal settings. Uh-huh. I know you just returned from the fortress of Meripede. Relax. I have no intention of trying to get anything out of you. Linny, Lynette, and Fremine are still there, and I trust their judgment and abilities. Uh-huh. They've all been working very Yeah, hard I don't trust you. Tried to stop them. 
actually Lenny. You mean Ridesley. He's a tricky one to deal with. He's a sneaky wolf. It's unfortunate that Lenny's so eager to prove himself that he can't learn to rely on others. Including Yeah, me. I'm not surprised he can't rely on you. And you can just consider You're yourself a harbinger. A gossip. But what's your impression of Farina? She's confusing. But you're even more confusing because aren't you supposed to be hunting me down? I know you're. M I know the Harbinger's main objective is to collect the Gnosis, but isn't aren't you supposed to be hunting me down? You are outside of our disputes, and the freest person in all of Fontaine, able to move well, around most easily. I feel like I still have a criminal Allow record. Me to share my perspective with you. Your ex perspective. Oh. And that's everything that happened during the trial. <gasps> oh, I like the drawings! And immediately transported to the fortress of Meropede. Didn't he say he was coming here on vacation? Does he not feel an ounce of shame for all the trouble he has caused? I mean, I don't know why he was convicted, and I don't think they do either. Uh, I... I... Forget it. He did give us an opportunity. The poor guy is so nervous he's talking to a harbinger. I will be meeting someone shortly. Farina and Uvalet? You require help with any preparations. No need. I will take care of it myself. I need to meet with Farina, the Hydro Archon. She is at the heart of Fontaine. But what's fascinating about her is that... She often seems more like a celebrity than a working archon. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I mean, I know she's like a celebrity, but can't she be the celebrity and the archon? I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Nuvolet's more of an archon than she is. I love Farina and all, but... Oh, come over here, you little critter, you. <gasps> oh, that's Arlecchino! I was like, wait a minute. Who is this? I mean, they look nice. That's our Latino. She's just going to a cat. Is that so strange? I mean, not all Archons are going to be allergic to cats like Venti is. Actually, Venti shouldn't even be allergic to cats because he's an Archon. He's not human. Whatever. You even have the X's over your mask. Yeah, really hiding who you are, our Latino, aren't you? Look at you. You dare to run from me? Stop right this instant! Okay, she does seem a bit quirky, but that all Archons are quirky. All Archons are hiding something from us, even if they try to tell us the truth. Even Nahida is hiding something from us. Nahida! Are your arms, like, actually fading to black? That's actually really creepy. Hold on. I thought those were gloves. My goal is just to discover the location of the Gnosis. But I didn't expect the chance to approach Farina to be handed to me on a silver platter. This is so easy, it's actually making me a bit suspicious. I, I don't even think that's Farina's plan. Something is going on with Farina and not even Arlecchino knows. Anything left unguarded oh. is usually just bait. But no one will blame someone for taking the bait. After all... From the moment it was attached to the hook, the bait is meant to be sacrificed. <gasps> it's just as I guessed in the second before I struck. The Hydronosis is not currently held by the Archon. Does that mean she doesn't have power? Isn't the Gnosis- Oh, the poor cat was so scared. Um... Isn't- the Gnosis only the connection from the Archon to Celestia? What would that have to do with their power? She didn't even try to defend herself. Farina was going on. In fact, this Archon doesn't seem like a god at all. No, she doesn't! And I sense that she's under some kind of curse. Some kind of curse? I mean, that could explain why she seems so weak, but, because Venti said he was, he was the weakest Archon. 
But he could have also meant that he was the weakest Archon among the original seven, because the original seven are only him, Zhang Li. Obviously, Zhang Li is one of the most powerful Archons to date. But did Farina not realize that the person attacking her is Arlecchino? I mean, she it's an amazing disguise, yes. But it's also a pretty bad disguise as well, because she looks... Like Arlecchino. I mean, sure, that makes sense, so the person knows that that's Arlecchino, but... I don't know, it's really confusing. Who are you? And yep, she doesn't know. What are you trying to do? Please, don't kill me! I'm begging you, please! Okay, so that might have been what I heard in the trailer, actually. The fear in her pupils is genuine, so perhaps she's not bait after all. Either way, targeting her has lost all meaning. So Nouvellette is gonna have the Endosis instead. But he's not the actual Archon. I'm so confused. Why- why doesn't she have power? Hmm. I left the scene with ease. <gasps> oh. Nobody came looking for me, and nobody could serve as a witness to my near assassination of Boselor. I suspect even Farina dares not mention this incident to anyone. Farina! Oh, poor baby was traumatized! Oh, and the cat is trying to comfort her, but... Oh, I want to hug Farina! Not long after, oh, my informants confirmed what I had guessed. After returning to her quarters, Farina quietly cried alone. Oh. She was so scared that she could not sleep that night, nor could she even bring herself to eat her cake. How dare you traumatize my baby? Oh, Farina! She may even be the, the most confusing Archon, probably. But... Oh, she's still kind of like a person. There's no doubt that she's not a human person, but her. she's like a person. I began to entertain the possibility that she is not the true Hydro Archon. Exactly. Perhaps Udex Nouvellet is actually the genuine article. But why wouldn't he say so? It doesn't make sense. I have to find the Gnosis. If the Nouvellet hypothesis is correct, he is probably in possession of it. Alternatively, it might have been hidden in a place that's hard for ordinary people to access. Like, yes, Father. Like the area with the primordial sea. But what are they saying yes, Father, to? And why do they say Father to you? My dear children, please speak. News from the Fortress of Merit. <gasps> oh, they even take Master, off their hats! Master That's Child respect. has gone missing. On top of that, the contacts and guards we bribed at the Fortress have all gone quiet as well. Probably the handiwork of that Ridesley. I'm afraid so. This is a good opportunity. The value of a harbinger is They're my babies, not your babies. Imagine. We now have an excuse to exert diplomatic pressure I mean, on the Fontaine authorities. Fremenet is mainly my baby, but you're sure you guys as well, I guess. Set up a meeting for me. I would like to meet the Hydro Archon and Udex Nouvellet. How were they able to oh, set up the meeting? And I have an additional mission for you three. Which was inside of the prison. Yes, yes Father. Father. Fortress. Tartaglia's disappearance was not a part of my plan, but I can Okay, so you to don't know anything. With like, honestly. With excuse, I can ask for an official audience and continue my investigation of Farina and Udex Nouvellet. Okay, so your thought is that the Gnosis is... Um is in the Fortress of Meripid. The initiative belongs to the House of the Hearth. My it is a to fortress. The Fortress of Meripid will be a front. Linny and his group will be responsible for the actual intelligence gathering. And fortresses protect things. Like castles and other stuff like that. 
like a gnosis in the primordial sea. Now the gnosis could be within the primordial sea, so we might be like the only ones being able to get it other than maybe Farina or Nouvellet, considering he controlled the primordial sea water? I don't know, it's really confusing. Man, what is going on? You should know the rest. Lenny's group is quite close to you. So Wait, did you tell us all that or from you. It, you attacked the She Hydra did Arca? tell us that. It wouldn't mean anything even if you shouted it from the rooftops. After all, no proof. even Verena herself is still pretending that nothing of that sort ever happened. Right. I mean, she didn't kill her, thank I've God. I've had two chances to enjoy tea with Farina. I have to say... What is it with you guys and tea? Fontaine is even more inscrutable than I I mean, Risley's more of a tea fanatic, but still. I once that Udet Nouvellet must be the Hydro Archon. But now, that doesn't seem right to me either. Yes, because why would he uh, pretend not to be the Hydro Archon if he wants the Hydro Archon? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, the popularity, sure, but he could just pretend to be, like, one of the other Archons, like... I like Zhongli. Like, A, basically. A is busy, but she's still the Archon, and she's not necessarily, like, a celebrity. How did you come to that conclusion? I mean, I came to that conclusion, too! I am a Farina servant seems of weak. Majesty, the Tsaritsa. Over my years of service, I've learned how a real Archon conducts and carries themselves. I mean, all Whether Archons are a little... Or Farina, neither fits the bill. It's hard to imagine either of them as the Archon. Then who? Of course, that is all just how I feel. Gut feelings often do not require justification. It is, however, quite amusing to me that after all my years working in intelligence gathering, I've come to realize I am at a complete loss regarding the identity of the god of the land of my birth. Don't you think Fontaine is quite intriguing? A catastrophe looms, yet many secrets have yet to rise to the surface. <sighs> it looks like Fontanians will have no choice but to save themselves. Okay, if you're originally from Fontaine, why do you support the Cryo Archon instead of the Hydro Archon? How old are you? Because Signora was like 500 years old and she was from Mondstadt. How old are you? Ultimately, though, one must. I mean, I know you don't want to ask a lady that question, but how old are you? Should the need arise, I would be happy to cooperate. With I would you. be happy to cooperate with you, you I'm going to be honest. I'm on your hit list. Course. I have a feeling that the situation will continue to evolve. And as your name is often connected with noble deeds, I'm Ooh. sure we will work together someday. Nouvellet, save me, help! He work together someday. Quickly. You must want to catch up with each other, so I'll leave you to him. That someday might actually be... Okay, so they did change the models a little bit because he has like a blondish, greenish hair almost. I don't know. His hair is super weird, but it's different than the normal NPCs are. Hers might be as well, but what she said by that might actually indicate that we do work with the Fatui and or the Harbingers in the future. Because in the one video where it basically previewed all of the Archon quests, the... not the last one, because there was still like one more, two more Archon quests afterwards, but in the uh, Shnezhnaya Archon quest, um, it didn't show anyone specifically, like... Originally, it showed specific characters, like, it showed, um, Diluc, uh, Ningguang, Ayaka, I think it was Sino, and then, uh, uh Linny and Lynette. And I believe those were the people that were the main helpers to us. 
But then in the Shnejnaya one, it showed almost like the Fatui and maybe even the Saritza. I mean, I don't want to work with them, but we might not have a choice. You're both saving! Well, you nodded at each other. <laughs> Save me! Is it over? Thank God. For now, yes. But this issue will prove quite thorny in the long term. I'm How did you even do what you did? The prophesized events will occur. Thank you for protecting Ooh. Farina. May we ask what happened down there? Hmm. To put it simply, I used my power to force back the Primordial Sea and reseal the Sluice Gate. How, though? It's Primordial Sea! I mean, you didn't touch it, but still! As for what happened on our side, Farina is a bit tricky. You recount the happenings of your tea party to Nouvellet. Hmm. So as expected, Fenave has turned up the pressure on Farina. She's trying to feel her out, though I'm still unsure as to her motives. She is, um... She's a harbinger. Of course you can't figure out her no motives. That's kind of the point. Can I ask you some questions? I have a lot of questions. Permission granted. How did you do the thing with the sea? Oh, are they two different questions? Do you have enough power to force back the Primordial Sea? Or I might be able to ask both of these. I don't know. Does this mean... Oh, they might be one answer, even though technically it's two. Does this mean you have some deeper connection with the Hydro Archon? As I was originally theorizing in the first Fontaine Archon quest. Oh. It can't be that you're the real Hydro Archon, I doubt it, right? but... But that's just a speculation on our part, though. <laughs> Wait! You don't not answer me, please! Then... Then that's okay. Why can't you tell us? We you're not helping! You. <laughs> you guys in Fontaine are super strange. <laughs> We're trying to help you guys here. If by the phrase, you guys, you are referring to Farina and I, then although I'm not sure just what you are trying to imply, I must clarify that I do not share her positions on a multitude of topics. <laughs> you're strange. What did you sense in the Fortress of Mirapete? Did you manage to protect those that needed to be defended? I believe so. The fortress has a long and complex history. It has seen much grief and suffering. Hmm. It is and still now, technically a prison. Another catastrophe will soon be upon us. I mourn this turn of events. Huh? Why is it raining all of a sudden? Oh my god! Wait! You've got to be kidding me. Nouvellet is the Hydro Dragon. Isn't he? He's is the Hydro Dragon! Every single time Nouvellet is depressed, it rains. Uh, that does not explain the skeleton in the ocean. There is a long dragon-like skeleton in the ocean. I'm so confused. How does that make sense? Because there's a dragon-like skeleton in the ocean. Yes, he doesn't understand humans, though that would make sense with the Melusine, because if he's the Hydro Dragon in a human form, then he's also close with the Melusine. Because he's basically like... He's still basically like their king. Oh my god, he's the Hydro Dragon. New wait, 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 wait. That makes sense why he doesn't have a vision. I have to check Nouvellet's stuff. Hold on. Clear sky suddenly filled with dark clouds. The rain became heavier. Light rain soon growing to a downpour. And just moments before, Nouvellet has mentioned his sense of grief. He's... It was in front of me this entire time! Nouvellet is the Hydra Dragon! But how? There's a skeleton! Inside of the sea! 
bringing back to the legend. Oh my god, he's the Hydra Dragon. Because he has a connection to Farina as well. Oh my god, he's the Hydra Dragon. It all makes sense. Because how else would he be able to control the primordial seawater? Thing. <laughs> do I just say do I just now say Hydra Dragon, Hydra Dragon, please don't cry or something like that? <laughs> It'd be pretty funny to say to new wet. Oh my god, he's the Hydra Dragon, isn't he? No way. Wait, I was just assuming he was a giant Melusine, which I mean isn't technically far off, to be fair. But he's the Hydra Dragon! We lit- Okay! Wait, so I got Nuvolet originally just because he was cool and I liked his playstyle too. But... Uh, my plan for... This... Account, basically? Is to get some of the characters I want, yes. But the main characters that I want are like the cool... Like, really standout-ish characters. Like, apparently, this dragon! And the Archons. I want all the Archons, not because... Not just because they have amazing abilities, but also because um, this is basically, like, my new main account. Uh, my other account was, like, my main account, but now that's basically, like, my trophy account. So now I have a dragon in my... Ar Arsenal. Oh my god, wait. I was assuming he was a lot like Zhongli, but now he's even more like Zhongli. He's stern. He sometimes doesn't know how to express his emotions. He, I mean, this is only Nuvolet, but Nuvolet cries. Oh, that's actually sad that Nuvolet cries, but he's a dragon. Yes, Zhongli is a god, but he took place as a dragon. For the people of Lewe for so long. Does that mean that, like, who is your original Archon if you're the Hydro Dragon then? Frina and or the previous Archon or Zhang Li? I feel like it would be Frina and or the previous Hydro Archon, but oh my god, he is. He's the Hydro Dragon. Thinking back to the legend and what Fremina said. See, I originally thought that it was just a legend since, you know, I saw a skeleton inside of the ocean. Okay, wow. He's the Hydro Dragon. This all makes so much more sense now. I'm genuinely shocked. I did not speculate for a single minute that he was the Hydra Dragon. It said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Every time it weeps, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. When Navia left after screaming at Nuvolet, it started to rain. I believe it was raining when... Nuvolet was visiting, was it Navia's father's gravestone? And then the skies cleared up? Oh my god. Nuvolet, you're the, you're the Hydra Dragon. You may be closer to the truth than you think. Oh, he knows that we know. He has the spikes for the eyes. He knows that we know. Okay. He's the dragon sovereign of water. He is the hydro dragon. The dragon of uh, what? He literally just confirmed it for us that he is the hydro dragon. Because he said, I'm closer to the truth than I think. He's not the hydro archon. He is the hydro archon accomplice, technically speaking. The hydro dragon. Why does each nation have to have a dragon? Actually, in Inazuma, the dragon was kind- Well, snake, dragon, whatever it is. 
is kind of sliced in half by A, and um, in the island was also sliced in half. Don't know why. Was his name Orobashi? Oh. But there was Dvalin in Mondstadt, uh, Zhongli, and Ejdaha in Liyue, and technically the bishops as well, but they don't count. Um, Orobashi, I think his name is? He's dead in Inazuma. Uh, Sumeru, there's a Pep, and then Fontaine, there's Nouvellet. Okay, I'm not complaining that there's dragons, though, because dragons are really cool, and I even have a cute little dragon sculpture that was made for me. Uh -huh. Please do not be so surprised. Oh, I'm very surprised, actually. I didn't think for a minute that you were the Hydro Dragon, but nope, you are the Hydro Dragon. <sighs> oh, hi, Farina. Yeah, your secret's out. <laughs> Thanks for telling us. Farina? What are you doing? Where are you going, Farina? Nuvalet! Nuvalet, are you listening? Okay, is he like the pet of Farina? That makes sense why they're so close and act like siblings, almost, though. Because obviously the Hydro Dragon would be the accomplice of the Hydro Archon. So, he would want to be by the Hydro Archon almost at all times. That makes so much sense! Huh. My apologies. Man, I wanna see a... Human version of a pep? That'd actually be very tall, because a pep was actually very big. We didn't see a pep completely. We saw a pep's eyes and body in the distance, which was terrifying. But, I also want to see a human version of... Um, what's his name? Devolin. We were just guessing randomly. Actually, there was two we dragons in Monset. Right, there was Devolin and actually the dragon the sovereign evil of water, dragon. right? Well, if you don't want to confirm or deny, a pieman just doesn't want to know. You guessed correctly. I sincerely hope you'll be able to keep this a secret for me. Okay, so he's the Hydra Dragon. I have a dragon in my arsenal, and I originally thought he was so cool. Now he's even cooler. And I love his playstyle. See, that's the thing. I originally thought that I'd have to, like, just, like, get rid of my team now and, and figure something out with the Traveler. Because I want the Traveler to be on my team at all times. But I suppose I can create multiple teams. Because you can do that. Right, of course. We'll definitely help you keep it a secret. Why did I not realize until now? Okay, I have seen as a meme, though, that, um... That Nouvellet was, like, one of those sea otters, which is absolutely adorable. Because, I mean, I feel like he looks like one. There's still something Paimon wants to ask you, though. I have a lot of questions, actually. Why is there a skeleton in the ocean when it's not yours? Please, go ahead. I have a lot of questions, Nuva. Please answer all of them. Well, Please. you are the dragon sovereign of water, and you were able to force back the primordial sea from the fortress. How old are you, Nuvalet? Were you originally from the previous Hydro Archon's time? So what happened to her? Then since Fontaine's prophecy is all about seawater, couldn't you just use your power to solve the crisis? Would that be too much even for him? None of the currently living dragon sovereigns in the world, myself included, possess our full dragonhood. Not even a pep? What about a pep? They say that when the first usurper arrived on Tivat, they seized a part of the dragon's power. Today, that stolen power is the basis Do of you the mean Descender? authorities. The first Descender! Okay, so you all still have a part of your power taken from you. So you're not, like, full power and all that. The Archon's authority. But what are Farina's authorities? Because... Be 
because Farina doesn't even seem like much of an Archon. There are seven elemental Archons and seven matching Dragon Sovereigns. There's seven dragons? Heck yeah! Give me one second. Here we go. The Dragon Sovereign of Water who lived through that era perished a long time ago. Oh! I know far less of that part of our ancient history. Wait! Okay, so you're the dragon's successor, so that was their skeleton! Wait, why didn't I piece this together beforehand? Because there's two dra- There was two dragons in Mondstadt. One of them is defeated, one of them is Devalin. Wait... In any case, I believe I will not be able to do much. Unless the Archon disappears and returns their elemental authority to me. Disappears? So you would basically be like the Hydra Archon if the Hydra Archon disappeared. Which wouldn't be possible because obviously Celestia wants all the Archons to be in their original spots. Given the status quo, however, I would recommend finding another way to deal with the prophecy. Yeah, because you want your to keep your secret a secret? Why? <laughs> oh, so even you can't solve it. I mean, you could force some of it back, but would you melt? Would you and Farina turn into water if you touch the primordial sea? I still have some urgent matters to attend to at my office. With Farina. If you have any more questions, go check on the baby. History, you are welcome to discuss them with me at a later time. Go check on the baby, please. Ah, uh, please go right ahead. There's a place that Paimon wants to go to. Traveler, why don't we pay another visit to the Fortress of Meripede? Paimon is a little worried. Sure. We'll see you another time. Take care. Okay, hold on. I gotta check something. That's not waves, that's a Hydro Dragon. I originally thought this was like some sort of waves. It's, it's a Hydro Dragon. This is the nose, it goes all the way around and this is almost like a tail. And these are the ears, which is the blue things on the back of Nouvellet's head. The ears. That makes sense why one of his idle animations is actually, like, pausing the water and making it go back up instead. Wait, didn't it say something? Draconic glories! I read it. I read past Draconic glories. Multiple times! And I skipped over it. Thinking like, huh? This could mean anything. Alright, let's just focus on what all of this other stuff means instead. Instead of what means right in front of your god dang face. Oh my god. No lead is the Hydro Dragon and it was right in front of me. It literally said Pastor Kata Glories right in front of me. How could I not? So how do they keep control of the prisoners? Um, I think I was actually able to do the bunny hop there. Um, are they able to keep control of the prisoners depending on how many prisoners there are? Because obviously it was like an evacuation. Almost no one cared to explain. Guess. 
What suit will this next card be? A suit? Card? Uh, a bear teeth cat? <laughs> I love them so much. Well, well, look who it is. Traveler, Paimon. Did you guys not evacuate? <sighs> Hello, everyone. <gasps> My baby! <laughs> He's all right! Looks like you're recovering nicely, Fremine. How? Mm hmm Thanks to everyone's support. Oh, right. I... I managed to work up the courage to thank Miss Clorand in person. <gasps> oh, you really are shy. That's adorable. Oh, how did she react? Uh... She told me that it was nothing. It was as if saving a life wasn't a big deal to her. I mean, at all. she have has killed she before. She also told me not to worry about it. Yeah, I feel like that's something Chlorine would say. She didn't want to stress you out. That's all. She's right, and it's best not to dwell on it. Yeah. Okay, but check this out. We went back to the opera house, and we met the name and the Hydro Archon. Er. Not Archon, um, Hydro Dragon, apparently. You We're not father? about allowed to tell Did you about she that. say anything to you? Yeah, actually a lot. She's very confusing. She said a few things that were, uh, a bit hard to understand. And also that she's looking forward to working with us in the future. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. She killed some of my friends, so I'm not exactly looking forward to working with her in the future. It was a little surprising. Yeah, I feel like she's not being completely honest there. Her attitude towards you is even better than what we'd imagined. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, because she's not being truthful. You should believe her. She has her own way of doing things, and she'll do everything in her power to help those she considers close, which now might also include you. She wants me close because I'm on her hit list. Mm-hmm. Father is very capable. And also Either that or she sees me as a... A very useful playing tool. Oh, Paimon just remembered that she thought Lily and was a war. bit too proud as well. She said that you should learn how to rely on others sometimes. Oh. Uh, got it. No. <laughs> huh. That does sound like something that father would say. Why do you call her father? Hey. Are you going to stay here for the next few days? Looks like it, yeah. Excellent. I will host a tea party. Make sure to invite, uh, Risley, because he would be very upset if he wasn't invited. For real? Then Paimon wants another serving of cake. <laughs> Let them have cake! Wow, this is really based on the French. Another implies that you were already served some delicious cake while you were up there. Hmm, how lovely. Very deductive of you. Well, next time, you're going to have tea and snacks with us. Snacks is good, too. Want cake. Alright, who else do I need to check on? I need to check on three more. Alright. Who are those three more? Do I get to check on my two friends? That actually saved me? Well, kind of. Okay, so there's Siegeween. Siegeween, we've met your king. He's basically like your guys' king, isn't he? I feel like he is. You're like mini hydro dragons. Oh my god, wait. I thought it was just a normal Melusine thing, but you guys have the ears, you have the tail, and you have wings. I thought it was just a Melusine thing, man. Traveler, Paimon, you're back. I mean, my original theory was that Nuvolet had some type of connection with the Hydro Archon, which is proved true. And, um, and that the Melusine had some type of connection with the Hydro Archon as well, which would make sense why most Melusine, if not all Melusine, knew Nuvlet. And this proves even more that he is the Hydro Dragon because. They're basically like the disciples of the Hydro Dragon. Are you still doing all right? Did either of you get hurt? We met the Hydro Dragon. We're fine, but what about you guys? It was such a huge mess. How bad was it? Uh, 
I mean, it didn't breach the gate thanks to Nouvellet, so I think it's fine. A few people sustained superficial injuries, but that's about the extent of the damage. A superficial sure injuries? A visit. It was all thanks to him that we managed to suppress the crisis for yeah. the time being. Uh, well, now we know his secret. Oh, of course. We must also thank you for the help you provided. What help did I provide? How did Nervalet know that he was needed here? Dragon senses? Like, spidey senses? I'm not sure Nervalet has strong resonance with the Hydro element. Yeah, because he's the, the Hydro the Dragon. Rises, he can feel the waves produced. He can feel the waves! It's literally like the spidey senses! I ran into the bombshell bros while bandaging the injuries of the wounded. <gasps> right, I forgot they're called the bombshell the bros. About how you just ran down without a word. I'm so relieved to see that you're both all right. Aw, man, they were worried about me. <gasps> Those two are good people. If you're not too pressed for time, please stay with us a few more days. Well, I suppose now that it is revealed, I guess I am free to leave. So, what the people say? Because wasn't it public that I committed a crime? And now my crime is just going to be released? I mean, I don't think 45 days has passed, has it? Just let me know if you get a craving for any particular dish, so I can have Mr. Wolsey get your meals prepared. <gasps> oh, and please feel free to visit the infirmary for a break at any time. I'd like to take the opportunity to spend some more time observing your facial muscles as well. That's cute! Your smiles are quite contagious, you know. They're so memorable. And I've missed them immensely while you were gone. You remind me exactly of A and... Well, maybe not exactly of A, but definitely exactly of Nahida. Because they're tr they're actively trying to learn more about humans, which is adorable! Aww. Non-humans trying to learn about humans. Brand, You owe me a welfare meal. Give me my real bread. I got my meal. Doesn't look very appetizing. Swing blade. Thank you, Brand. Give me. Wait. Does the fortune slip? Wait. You sell something, actually. Ooh, onion soup. Don't regret. Ooh, wait. What was that? Wait, did I get the Hydroculus from adventuring? Because I know I was collecting Hydroculus for the statue for Prima Gems previously, but did I get this from the quest, actually? I don't know. Oh, and my fortune slip. Don't regret or regret regretting, and definitely don't ever regret regretting regret. What? What? Alright. Alright, hi Mr. Walsey. Technically, I have, um... I have 30 credit coupons that are separate from the credit coupons during the investigation. So these are obviously different. But why? Oh, that's why. Oh, I can buy recipes here. I can buy food. Oh, man. Do I want... Ooh. Oh, dang it. I was about to say uh, maybe I can buy some Fanta, but I can't. Because um, if I buy this recipe, then I can't buy any more Fanta. Why can I use actual money? That actually looks really good. Haggis. Barbecue ribs. Lamb chop. Alright, fine. What was that recipe for? Because this is barbecue ribs. That's coffee Bavaroi and that's haggis. Oh, so this must have been the trout and a man in a mandine. I don't know. It's fish. I don't like fish! But I'll still take it because it's a recipe. 
And I'm gonna use that and learn that some other time. It's just oh, it is just down there. Oh, <gasps> we get to check in with our friends. Okay, I'm gonna do that one last because I don't know where we're gonna end up now after all this. Man, I guess we're free, but I don't want to leave you guys, Quisto and that, you, you guys are back. Whatever your name was. Lavaroon, that's what it is. You guys didn't get caught and thrown back down here, right? I mean, technically, I'm a free woman, but I choose to gain back here. Huh? No, not at all. Ah, and here I thought you'd managed to escape from jail during all the commotion. I'd held you up as legendary jailbreakers. Yeah, but, but I'm not technically a criminal. Left. I mean, I did technically <laughs> eat the cake, <laughs> but... Sorry, but we do no, let should be able to take care all right, of that. All right, all right. There's no need to get caught up in the details. We're just relieved to see you. Oh, <gasps> you guys so are so sweet. Hey, it wasn't just me. Weren't you super worried as well? Oh, uh, something like that. Yeah. Thank you. I was also transferred to work in the kitchen a few days ago. I can still hear Quisto mumbling to the carrots. Are those two all right? Do you think they made it out alive? <gasps> oh. Whenever he'd say that. I tell them I'm sure they're fine. Wherever they are, they're kicking back with drinks in hand. How long did it take dinner. us to come back? Hey, there's nothing wrong with worrying about your prison pals. Oh. I mean, considering how they always love listening to all my gossip. I mean, these two. True. They sure are a lot warmer and friendlier than when Paimon first met them. That's cute. Thank you guys. I'm sure the wealthier meals must have skyrocketed in quality recently. Your meals will all bring the prisoners to the cafeteria. Yeah! Oh, well, if you say so. I'll be watching you to make sure you finish every last bite. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, might be a little terrifying, but... He means well. Which is adorable! Because he's the chef, and I believe... Well, he's the chef for the coupon place. Now... No, he's not the chef. He's just a helper. But he was originally a chef, I believe. And then I believe Lavaroon was originally a bartender. Which, I mean, similar profession, I guess. One's cooking, one's serving drinks. I mean, they would both work, work good together, I suppose. Resley! Or Chlorine, or whoever I'm checking on. Hi! Oh, you guys. In the ship. Oh my god, the ship! What is that yellow stuff? What is that? It's everywhere. Okay, so this is still part of the Fortress of Meripede. How are you gonna get this out if you do get it out? What is your big plan exactly, Frizely? Because there are the rafters, so it is under the Fortress of Mirapede. I can just barely see the end of it, I think, but... Okay, so that ship was originally used to colonize people into Fontaine by an emperor, I think he said? Man, this class is clear. But... Then it was never used and now it's down here? I'm so confused. Alright, hi guys. You guys are dating. Jurier? Miss Sijuin told me you still haven't eaten. Oh, you guys are totally dating. Yeah, I was working on something so I forgot. Okay, I actually do that all the time. I forget to eat. I mean, it doesn't bother me till much, much, much later, but still, that happens to me. You guys are totally dating. I ship it! That's no excuse for y Huh? What's you two? I ship it! You're here! We're mean! We're back! You guys are cute. Hello there. It's been quite the mess here recently. How have you been? Fine. I am actually surprised you're asking about my well-being. And you? Are you still taking the secret passageway from the infirmary to work on the ship? Or to flirt? Yep. That is still top secret, though. 
so don't say a word to anyone. It can be a bit annoying when there are lots of people in the infirmary, but I still prefer taking that route over the one from the Duke's office. I mean, the infirmary does make it easier for you to slack off. <laughs> oh yeah? Then why are you also here so much? You two really are just using Dating. for your relationship, aren't you? They are. Not at all. They are. That's adorable. You're totally dating. Jerry, the rumors about us are literally everywhere now. Please do something about it. I mean, that actually happened to me once in elementary school. Yes, elementary school. Um, I didn't really have a lot of friends, but there was this one friend who I had been friends with since first grade, since I moved to this area. Um, and we hung out so much since he was my only friend at the time. And even then, I still didn't make a lot of friends. Anyways, uh, he had been my friend since I moved there. And, <laughs> again, in elementary school, it had been rumored that we were dating. Even though we were not. We were children and we were best friends. That was it. <laughs> it was basically like what was happening with them, but I believe they are dating. We were not. But it's not like I caused them by myself. All right, all right. I'll try to do something about it when I can find the time. You guys are dating! I mean, I hate to be the one that says that because I was in the exact same predicament so long ago. But you guys are dating. Talk to Risley, all right. Risley! Oh, he's in his office. Is he at- wait. He is. Oh, you're sitting in your chair. Can I? Oh, I can't talk to you from across the table. Nice, thank you. Do my eyes deceive me, or did I just see two inmates come back after making it to the surface? Some strange wind. I mean, you saw away. all your inmates come back. You're surprised by us two? I mean, we don't have an official criminal record, I guess. We wanted to see how the fortress is doing. Is everything still all right? Well, it seems all right. We're fine, for the most part. Nervalet came down and took care of the worst of it. Yeah, because he's the Hydra Dragon! If that's the case, why don't you just ask him to stay here? Because he has work to do? Oh, yeah, what a brilliant plan. Let's go convince the Udex himself to exchange the Quartz of Fontaine for a puddle of water in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. He has work to do, Paimon. I don't think that's gonna work. He came here in a hurry and left without even stopping for a cup of tea. He did You really and your tea, man. Him, you really like your tea. Is it at least Lipton? I haven't tried hot tea before, but I really like Lipton cold tea. He sure sounds super busy. Miss Cloran has left He well. is literally the Udex. She also took her gift from the Miss judge. Queen. The Chief Justice, he has got a lot of work to do, especially as the Hydra Dragon. Or the gift's milkshakes? <laughs> Nervalet got the milkshake. Clorand received lipstick instead. <laughs> lipstick? <laughs> um. Nervalet got the milkshake? Weren't those milkshakes bad? <gasps> Wait! In the trailer, that's what. Um. What was it? Uh, I'm gonna bring up the trailer now. That's what Siege Green was trying to give you! Since I've mentioned it so much, I might as well, um... Give me one second. Since I keep mentioning it, um... I might as well show it again, because I think that's what uh, Siegeween was trying to give to uh, Risley. Alright, let's see. Give me one second. Is 
Is it in the first trailer? Also, I just noticed on Genshin Impact's official, um... What is it? Official YouTube page as their uh, thumbnail, basically. Not as their profile picture, but the thumbnail. I forgot what it was actually called. Um, they actually have like the picture that basically shows what update it's in. I can't show it now, but um, actually, yes, I can show it now. But I'm not gonna. Um, Basically shows what update you're in, where it shows Arlecchino, Risley, uh, technically Aether, Paimon, um, Nuvolen in the back, and, um, Farina. So that's neat. And was it in the first trailer? Okay, I don't actually need the sound because we have watched this before. Maybe it wasn't? Okay, maybe it was in the second trailer. Hold on. Or the 4.1 trailer, I guess I should say. There's the whole thing about Nuvolet. And then there was the events to come, but where was... Siege Weed trying to give... Risley her drink. Maybe I did miss it. Okay, so there was a large event, so I'm guessing that's going to be at the end of 4.1. Because there's, like, a large event, whereas it basically, like, devised into separate events in and of itself. Kind of like, uh, the Valyrian Mirage. Which, I mean, I really like the Valyrian Mirage. Maybe it was in the first one? Come on, I really want to show it. Wasn't in the first one. Where? Oh, it was in the teaser, wasn't it? It was in the teaser! Okay, so this was originally before the actual trailers for, um... What was it? God, now I can't, now I can't even think. It was before the original trailers of the 4.0 uh, update, originally. This was the trailer for all of Fontaine, basically. So there was Charlotte, Charlotte's Web, and also uh, Navia flying off into the distance. Love Navia, but she flies off. Somehow, she must like pick the best picture or something. And then there's Risley, and then sees me trying to give him her milkshake. That must be the milkshake. And then he chooses his tea, and she gets all sad and mad, which is really cute. <laughs> he likes his tea. All right, let me see if there's something else I missed. So that goes down the pipes. There's chlorine. Now there was also our Lachino. I haven't forgotten about this. Pushed over cardboard statues of Linny and Lynette. Which 
I mean, I already knew, but it shows that she does not care for her children. Which isn't surprising, because, you know, I knew she didn't care. But she's using them, and in the end, she's definitely going to use them. I want to see her do the snap thingy again. Because then the spotlight dims. And it goes around her. And people were actually shocked that she had long hair. Because in the original um, video where it showed all the harbingers, uh, you could only see the front version of her. So you could only see her with short hair. They should do a female character with short hair. I don't know if they've done it so far, but I feel like she deserved short hair. But I love the red, uh, red, white, and uh, black palette, though, because they do that without her entire palette. Her suit, her hair, her eyes, even. And, like, even in her hair, just at the very tip, you can see a bit of red. I don't think there's anything else that I missed, though. And then there was the snap thing. But, um... And then there was Freena complaining about the show. And that was the first Archon quest. That was the first Archon quest. That was the second. Where Fremenet was drowning. But he's in different gear. Yeah. Alright. So there's still a lot that we have to uncover. But I feel like we're going to be getting those answers shortly. I accidentally skipped over something that I shouldn't have. There we go. Yeah. So that's the whole thing with the milkshakes, basically. Uh, those aren't even remotely alike. <laughs> well, it's Nervilet's own fault for making Sijuin worried about his health by working so much. But besides and that, she is close to him as the Hydra Dragon. For the ladies. Oh, and I have some gifts here for you as well. <gasps> More on Prima Gems? from Sijuin too? Nope. They're from yours truly. Ooh. You've already wrapped Yay! up your work at the fortress, so you can return to the surface at any time. Oh! You haven't yet served your full prison term, however, so Do you I may continue to? to use your cell until your term is up. Man! For real? Then we can stay here for a really long time? Is food still covered? It wasn't covered before! What do you mean, still covered? I'm so confused by that. Is it just if you don't have any... ...coupons that your food is free? Because that's what I was thinking, because they said uh, the food was free, but it's not. You have to use coupons. I mean, technically it is free when you're just playing the game, but not as in, like, the story itself. You may access the cafeteria for free. Yes! Hooray! Free food! Just remember to come complete your paperwork once it's time for your release. Oh man. I don't like paperwork. It's so lame. Can I talk to you anymore? Can I have your chair? Your file can't be closed you look like until a we've king. completed your paperwork. So don't forget to come find me again when you're done serving your sentence. Did I actually have to? Can I have your tea? There's no tea in there. You, you really like your tea! I mean, I suppose it's better than, like, alcohol and stuff, I guess. I could have just teleported. Ah, that was lame. Alright, so there's still a lot we have to uncover because the blocks may not actually be relating to the Archon Quest. Maybe. It's a big maybe there because... I don't know. It said it was like a research failure and those people I've... Uh, th that couple, I forgot their names already. Um, they were like accomplices of the one crazy guy. Uh, the one guy was an accomplice of the crazy guy, and the lady was the accomplice of 
the accomplice. There's still a lot to uncover, man. I really have to wait out my entire sentence. Sentence. I mean, yeah, we've regained our freedom, but what happened to Child too? Mm -hmm. Not even Be Orla Chino knows. But Child did tell us the thing about falling into the abyss and the, the thing inside him, whatever that means. I mean, is there something you'd like to say? Oh? Huh? How did you know? Because you usually just immediately fall asleep. <gasps> ah, yeah, that would actually make sense. Hey, that's not true. You literally did that last I... night. Okay, Paimon just wanted to say that we really are an amazing duo after all. Oh, I love Paimon doing this. It just warms my heart because they're so close. It's like... We've now gone to so many places together and become friends with so many people. We've never stopped traveling or stopped meeting new friends. Oh, bye, bye. There are so many bad things in the world, and we're just two people, but we've still been solving problems no matter where we go. Yeah, Isn't and I don't... cool? I don't actually know why, considering I'm just looking for my sibling, but we end up getting caught because we, we pity other people. And then we end up saving them. Oh, Lumi and Smile is the sweetest. Man, this is more from my heart. One of the best adventurers ever. You're counting Paimon today? Aren't you the only adventurer here? Mm, guide counts too. Even though you're not technically a guide, you're a guide to being a best friend. Okay, but you're like... That handbook is like half the size of you. Uh, Most likely. Making Paimon giddy. Uh, oh, Paimon's gonna crash, so you sleep soon too. The last time we fell asleep here, we woke up to a whole mess outside ourselves. The primordial seawater nearly rose up. That was so scary. I mean, Nubala was coming over now, here right? anyways, even if we didn't try to inform him, right? We'll be fine. Don't worry. All right, then. Good night to you, traveler. They're like siblings. It's so cute. Aww. Oh, that's cute. They're siblings. Oh, no. Child's vision. What now? What the? Is he in Primordial Sea? That's a that's a whale. That's a narwhal. That's a narwhal whale thing inside the Primordial Sea. It's pr I know it's the Primordial Sea because it's purple. What was that? Is there more Archon Quest or was that it? That was it. Okay, thanks for leaving me on a giant cliffhanger. I really appreciate that. Okay, what is this? Steambird interview, another horizon on the adventure. Magnetic forging. Are they just the quests that I need to do for Fontaine? What even is this? Oh, I remember finding this quest. Okay, it is! It's just like the simple quick quest, I think. There's Steambird interview, semi-automatic forging, and probably two more, but I don't know what they are. That one? And then I don't know what the other one was. Okay! What was that? Where is child? What is going on with what was inside of him and relating to the abyss? Like, man has some deep backstory. Like, I don't even know how to wrap my head around it. 
All right. And we also learned now that Monsieur Nouvellette is in fact the Hydra Dragon, and it was in front of me this entire time. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna end the stream here, and we'll pick this back up next time. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be streaming this on Thursday and Friday, or if I'm gonna be streaming this next on um, Monday and Tuesday, next week. I guess we'll find that out when Thursday arrives, though. I really hope that I do get to play Skyrim, even though there isn't a lot of games that I have on my queue that I want to play. Because some of them are, like, still in production, like Little Nightmares 3 and maybe future games. I don't know. But I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, night, or wherever you're in this crazy world, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye! I have so much to think about. Jesus Christ.